Wait, hold on. I forgot to do something. <laughs> oh, fucking of course, dude. Of course. Hold on. Wait, I, I didn't have to do this. Hold on. Anyway, Merry, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! It's Christmas! So let's play the most Christmassy game of all time. Super Mario Sunshine, of course. Like, well, I guess the thing would be, and what game is it? Super Mario Sunshine, of course. <laughs> I love this game. This is 3D All-Stars, which I like to call 3D All-Scam, so I might call it that. Um, and... Oh, that's not right. Okay, hold on. Sorry. Alright. And, uh... This came out recently, and all my- like, a lot of my friends streamed it, and I didn't miss a, like, a single second of it. And, uh... It just makes me very happy. So... If you streamed this game recently, or were in the chats of those streams, then you probably know half of the things I'm gonna go over here. Anyway, things in this intro cutscene are actually pretty interesting. So... Let's take a look. It's Birthmas. Also, I don't know if the volume's good. Maybe the, maybe the volume on the thing was kind of shitty. The, uh... OBS. So first things first, uh, I don't know if that Delfino Plaza is weird. My friend Griffin pointed it out. It might be. I don't know. So I kind of look at it. Welcome to the sun-drenched tropical paradise of Isle Delfino. We're so pleased to welcome you to our beautiful home. Can everyone come and enjoy a natural Here comes Mario. There he is. Do you see him? <laughs> so like, I think there was dirt or there was grime on the bell still in the like. I never noticed that. I'm always too busy. Whoops. Oh, that's the that's what the C stick does. Okay, I'll turn the game down to like seven again. I I thought that the uh, or six. I don't know five. Okay, it's good that this is here because I actually uh, didn't do this. We want to invert. You know, we'll we'll do that when we get in the game. Body and spirit. Money. <laughs> that guy's like somewhat transparent. It's so weird. But here's a funny little fact. Uh the cutscenes in this game take up 60% of the disc space. Is it <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like, if you've removed all the cutscenes, you could probably fit, a, like, another part of Sunshine. Also, I think the Ferris wheel is red in this cutscene as well, which is kind of funny. All right. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you know what? While we're here, though, uh, does that Delfino look kind of weird? Like, what's up with that tower? Isn't that kind of weird? Why does Corona have water in it? That's supposed to be Noki Bay up there. So, was that just a beach before? Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, dude, there's Mario. There's Mario in the intro cutscene, can I? There we go. Why is he there? Who knows? And... The Ferris wheel is normally purple in the game, but... In three cutscenes, including this one, it's red. How about that? Anyway, I have to change the controllers, so... Give me a second, I guess. There we go. And put this in player two, so that... If I need to take screenshots again, which I will, then... I can. Man, are you serious? Okay, you know what? Their controller support isn't uh, properly implemented, I guess. We're just gonna go without this then. And I feel like if I press the, the controller during cutscenes and stuff, then it'll be a thing. 
It's no, it's it's. it's oh come on, man! It's like on PC mode, but like I don't think that'll change it, will it? I could use it to navigate the menus. Okay, that was the problem. Never mind. I use it to navigate the menus. There's no beatboxing Pianta in this game. Also, just off screen, there's a little pier. You can't see it, and I can't show it to you, but it exists, trust me. Like, this is such a tiny airstrip. How can you even achieve anything on it? Oh, I think I'm gonna need to use the controller. <laughs> Coming up, because in this upcoming cutscene, Peach's Peach's earrings use her eye texture, and in the original game, it's kind of hard to see. There it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're still there, and then they're gone. In, in 3D all scam, it works pretty well. Shadow Mario is too big there, by the way. So it's been a while since I've played this game. Like, actually played it. So, hopefully I do okay here. Also, I'm not sure. I'd find some assistance. Hmm. It's probably gonna take me a while to get used to the inverted camera again. Because video games. Man, look at how good the game looks. So, can I not... There we go. This heat phase effect, like the heat wave effect, is just a screen that follows Mario's camera the entire time, by the way. I think that's really funny. Also... Yeah, look at that. The collision on this beach isn't right. So Mario just walks on it. Ah, okay. Buffered spin jumps still work. So if you spin the stick before you land, you can... Like, I don't know if you hear that, but you can do a spin jump without having to go, eh, you know, it's a lot easier. And I think if you, whoops, if you do it and then take a step, then you jump even higher because Mario's jump speed is tied to his uh, walking speed. Or his jump height is tied to his walking speed, which is weird, but whoops. Hold on. Give me a second here. But yeah, the spin jump is the most satisfying move in any video game ever. Stunt of a bitch. <laughs> I tell everyone, hey, don't forget that you can use the ground pound to stall your momentum. So if you, like, are fr you're afraid of overshooting a jump, don't be. Because you could just go like this. Can I zoom out the camera anymore? I don't think so, but... Like, look at this. First things first, the fucking, the fucking earrings using her eyes. I love it so much. Hey, Biggs. And then look at how big Shadow Mario is compared to Mario. That's not right. Probably for clarity's sake, right? But you'd ever know. All right. <laughs> I love the eyes. Anyway. Man, I missed that. All right, here it comes. 3D All Stars going the button. Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from. Gadget. So everyone knows in the cutscene of this, like the HUD of this, the bottom left corner is the games, but in the top left, there's what's it say? O Y O B or something? The operating system. That's based on Egad's Japanese name. So like EGAD operating system. Pretty cool. The button. Proceeding with user instructions. And all the YouTube poopers are like. Use the <laughs> like I we could make him say Z R button if you want. The button. The stick. Button to switch to the hover nozzle. Oh my god. And then press the button to hover in the air for a short 
tank is empty, no water Fine. can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the button. The button. Another cool thing about the water in this game is that it's just a bunch of pictures of bubbles overlaid on top of each other. You can't really see it in normal gameplay though. Alright, so... First things first. Uh, how did I open the switch menu here? Can I... No, oh, that pauses. Minus? Okay. So we're gonna want to invert the cameras, I think. Or is it just the vertical camera? Just because that's what it is in the GameCube game, and I don't want to mess myself up. And the Mario cam, which is the first person mode, is kind of weird as well. Let's let's see. Something... Is that inverted camera? I'm moving the camera... I'm pressing the stick right. Am I just so used to inverted camera now that this just seems normal? Though that doesn't that doesn't seem normal. Oh Nintendo, you couldn't just make it a horizontal camera is normal. That's not what we want. I think. Should have tested the Mario cam while it was in there. Okay, I don't think we want inverted vertical, but we want inverted horizontal. It's really weird otherwise. Or wait. Okay, this should be good, I hope. I hope I'm not like shooting myself in the foot here. Alright. And then spam spraying. It's actually... Yeah, inverted is going to take a while to get used to. Spam spray is going to take a while for me to get used to. I, I'm ne I was never good at it. You press... You jump, but just while you're in the air, and then you press... R-A. Not A-R, R-A. Is A R is that? <laughs> but yeah, because you don't have to press down an entire trigger on the pro controller, it is easier on the pro controller. I will give it that. All right, finally, the first shine sprite. And we're gonna save because you never know what's gonna happen. Nice work, Though I think if you don't save, I'm not gonna do this. But <laughs> if you don't save at all and then get to the underwater parts of Noki Bay with that nozzle and then like game over, the game uses because that's that's not that's a unique nozzle underwater. So the game then gives it to you in the airstrip, so you can just fly around like a crazy person. If you have the practice codes, you can also warp to a different area from those Noki things to get it. Pink substance. I love these cutscenes. Ruining our beautiful home, and yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed. How can one not be aware of what is going on? <laughs> I like in the Japanese cutscenes they say the shrine sprites and the shrine scholars. Darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shrine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shrine gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. Okay, it's the inflection of that is different in the English and Japanese cutscenes. <laughs> Along with some other things. A lot. I watch this cutscene a lot. This is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario! So it's kind of hard to see, but if you're looking at Piantas with glasses, their eyes are overlaid on top of their glasses. I think that's a 3D All-Stars thing. Which is just weird. No, wait, maybe it's not. I think they're just like that in general. Twinkie Pillow! Look at Mario's Twinkie Pillow. It'll pan, it'll pan back to that. 
data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution. What a, what a stupid line. <laughs> it's such a stupid line, I love it. Data analysis verifies that the residents are troubled by pollution. Data analysis. Uh. The Shine Gate. The incident has polluted the island, and most of the Shine sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peace Here comes. style of the islanders. It is most pitiable. It is most pitiable. The only way to ensure the return of the Shine sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirty. It's so funny that they patched this game a bunch, but they didn't add the option to skip cutscenes still. And you, Mario. All right, here comes the Twinkie Pillow again. There it is! And the JPEG of the sky. No! Go straight that way. I'm sorry, I just think it's so funny. Oh, God. Wait, that way. So this toad is supposed to be worrying. Oh, he snapped back to it. I think it's if you get far enough away. I'm going to be doing that with the camera often. If you get far enough away, you can see him or other toads like look happy and then they get all worried. So that's pretty funny. Can you record a video? Yeah. I don't think I need to record videos, though. I mean, I guess I could. Alright, let's- let's see here. How far- how far is the distance so that we can see that animations just... stop? There's a distance where- yeah, look! Like, that guy's not talking anymore, the toads aren't moving. <laughs> it's it's surprisingly uh surprisingly a thing. So I actually haven't seen this before, but apparently Yeah, there it is! There's this invisible slope right here for some reason. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh You love to see it. Alright. Whoops. Well, speaking of sidestepping. Mario's blink speed is based on his walking speed, I think? Yeah, look at that. I think we could go slower. Yep. <laughs> uh, that's so good. I'm so glad that I can take videos and stuff of this. Video games! Uh... Wait, hold on. Is this... Yeah. So Mario wipes his head in the shade, but... There's no cooldown for it. So <laughs> you can just have him constantly wipe his head. I guess it's supposed to be, man, I can take a break because I'm in the shade, but you think that the shade would be colder, right? See, this is not where I want to go. Hmm, okay. Here's here's an interesting thing, as well, that speedrunners do. What happened? I guess I did this. Um, so see how Flood is back? He's, like, not active. He needs a while to spray. So he didn't spray there. The same thing applies with the hover nozzle. So people like to hover and then dive to do a water slide, but if you do that, no water comes out. So if you see a speedrunner spray water with this first and then go into a hover slide, it's so that they can immediately do a hover slide. Weird mechanics, right? Weird mechanics in video games. There are a lot of even more weird Yoshi mechanics, but we don't have the horse yet. Also, oh, I ruined some of it, but uh, this looks like PD Prana. See, there's the X on his stomach. The head is really big for some reason. I used to think it was an octopus, because, you know, you usually look at it from this direction, but... Nope, that's Peter. Because Peter's in Bianco. 
Actually, these fruit are here too. These were added in uh, the English version of the game. I guess to make it easier to uh, see stuff, but fruit doesn't work in water, so the moment it moves, it just disappears immediately. <laughs> I think that papaya over there is also... Papaya on the roof over there was also added. Um, but yeah. Let's do this. Whoa! <laughs> Spam's ready, dude. I love it. I'm bad at it, but I love it. Yeah, see. But hey, at least it worked out, though. Yeah, my preference is to do two spam sprays per jump. You can do a lot more, for sure, but, uh... At that point, it's kind of mashing, and then you might accidentally press A instead of R. You have to, like, get good at it, and I never got good at it. Princess, look! On the statue's head! Wow, my... My noise gate's pretty good if it doesn't just pick that up, huh? Mario? So we could save Princess Peach, or we could do a bunch of other stuff. This is what happened on Carl's stream. He got 30 shine sprites so he could get the sunglasses before saving Peach. And there is sunglasses percent in this game, but uh... If we do it before getting Peach, I'd like to call it, like, bros before hoes or something. So let's start getting some shine sprites. First things first, this one. So you want to go, like, one, two over, put Mario's foot on this corner, and then... Oops. So I have to get used to the controls, so... Yeah, you can just, you can straight up get 30 shines. Not, not in Delfino, but we have ways to getting, we have ways of getting to other areas. Hooray! Hey, Evan. Hey, it's not incorrect if you live in Florida. We had the biggest rainstorm, like, ever last night. Like, it was so windy, and the rain was insane. That was part of the reason why I couldn't get to sleep last night. Another part was thinking about everything that I was going to do for this stream. And then another part was thinking about Christmas. So, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Yeah, you can you can do a buffered spin jump out of a rollout. Oh, that's so smooth. I love this game. All right. I guess I just always have taken that for granted. All right. So, I... I used to do this another way, where you would... Come on. Am I tripping? That always used to make it. Okay, there we go. Where I used to, like, have bananas here, and then I would do the same thing you do in Serena 3, where you throw the bananas and then clip through the wall. But apparently, if you just do this... Oh, I think I have to start running. Whoa. What a throw. Are we gonna see that peach every time? Yeah, probably. I don't actually know how to, uh, do this. <laughs> Using the, uh... Using the papaya to clip in here. But... Ah! Might have to do it the other way. So, Average Trey uploaded this video recently about how pausing in Super Mario Sunshine is weird. And it has to do with keyframes. Like, when you pause, it messes up the keyframes that the game checks for Mario's collision. So, the, the fruit can then push Mario into the floor here. I don't know if it has to be, like... Hmm. I don't really know how it works. Let's try, let's try the banana method. Super Mario Galaxy 2, like, for the longest time, was, like, my third favorite game. What? I just climbed the tree. 
The bananas aren't here yet. Man. Just trilogy, though. Trilogies are good, right? I'll get used to the camera eventually, don't worry. No! Blood will tell me to, though. I think it's really weird how the fruit is, uh... So dark here. Ah, I wanted to do the triple jump. Don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. Dev's alert. Delfino emergency broadcast system alert. Man. I don't want to shoot water. So we want to... That should be good. And then... So wait, jump, throw... Okay. How do you? I don't remember how you how you jump inside step mode. I guess that's not right. That's not right. Ah! I wish I knew the papaya thing. Yeah, I can't spend too much time on skips, unfortunately, because. Christmas dinner's a thing, and I'm like, hey, can I, can I come at, like, six? And my dad's like, no. And then, you know, stuff happened to make everything all late. Oh, my God. Here, here's how you do this. Like, come on, Chris, it's that easy. You jump to keep your angle. Okay, and then, oh, shit. Am I... How do you, how do you, how do you jump with... In sidestep mode. Oh, you spray! Right! It's basically just doing the ground spam spray. Okay. Duh! Forgot about that one. Wrong camera direction. Hopefully, this is easy. For some reason, I've struggled with Serena 3 clip pretty often, so. I am worried about this one. But you can do a backflip, and that's what we're going for. I didn't practice anything. Otherwise, I would have practiced this and then realized, uh-oh, the papaya thing isn't going to work. Although, I do wonder if the bananas make it easier, because they have a bigger hitbox, but... Alright, let's get a nice angle. Then... There we go! It's that easy! I just had to figure out how to do the backflip. If you're wondering what you do there, you do the backflip, then near the apex of your jump, press down, and down to like move yourself towards the banana while you throw the fruit with B. But I, I think I used to struggle with it, because I held down the moment I jumped, and I don't think you're supposed to do that. But yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that that was a thing. I didn't know that clipping into the first turbo gate was a thing. And I didn't know that clipping into this turbo gate was a thing. And I didn't know that Serena early was a thing, until Carl was like, how many shine sprites can I get um, before saving Peach? And then I went looking, so you know, don't worry about it, Peach. So there's the turbo gate down there. You're supposed to use the turbo nozzle to get through the turbo gate. It's pretty obvious, right? Except uh, we're not going to do that. So we're not there yet. You just jump, dive. There you go. I told Wu Kao to do this, but he didn't want to do it because this is his favorite shine in the game. Also, this water does not... you can't... you can't slide on it. Has anyone tried that? My friend Griffin did, and he was like, what the hell? I was like, yeah. Okay, that was supposed to be a triple jump. <laughs> and you can do this uh, with the hover nozzle. 
So we're gonna do that. And I mean, if you want, you can get in the little squares down there. there are little squares. I mean, can we not see them? You can see that one. If you want to. And then get back. I don't really want to do that, though. Is that... <laughs> I mean, it's Gook's favorite shine for a reason, right? Alright, let's... Actually, let's... Whoa. I don't trust that. Go back. I want to be monkey. It's a lot safer than the turbo nozzle, though, that's for sure. We can do the shine on the beach before uh, doing this, but I want to I want to save that because it's I think in 100% and 96 shine speedruns. You kill the Gatekeeper, which is the Proto Piranha, which is the Goopy Piranha we fought at the airstrip. And then you get that Shine Sprite while it's dying to save some time. So... Where is it? This Shine Sprite. We're not doing that one yet. I won't save that. I won't try it. I never, I've never actually done it because this is surprisingly far away from the Proto Piranha. And then you have to platform your way up there in the time it takes for that to die, and I've never done that. The only other thing I've never done is Honey Skip. <laughs> Which I'll try showing it off at least, but I definitely won't get it. Get it, that's for sure. This is an interesting little thing about this area. See that down there? Oh, okay, I, can't, I couldn't use my hover nozzle there, but this is here for some reason. I only know about this because Rats, a speedrunner of the game, made a sun- Whoa! Made a sunshine ROM hack, and- Uh-oh, I'm gonna die on the fucking slide. And he put a shine in there, and you had to, like, platform your way down there. Which is kind of funny. Alright. Let's do this without using the hover nozzle. Because this is so easy with the hover nozzle. Cause you just hover over everything and, you know, dive and stuff. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> We're good! <laughs> not, the, not the intended way, but hey, it works. You're probably not supposed to hold forward either, that's why it was so weird. But I was holding forward, for sure. Speaking of pipes... Dinner. <laughs> this isn't just the underground theme, which I learned way too late. Like, I think I learned after 3D All Stars came out that this is just the underground theme. But something funny is, does this overwrite it? Yeah. When I was a kid, this was like the first Mario game I played, so I didn't know that this was just straight up the underground theme. It's very obvious because they put the underground theme in every single Mario game. But, uh, as a kid, I didn't know that, so that took me by surprise, for sure. Alright. Nope. That was a failed spin jump. But yeah, some shines you can't get yet. Like, uh, you can't get the gold bird because it doesn't spawn. That probably wasn't close enough. It was fine. Normally, the intended way is to use the rocket nozzle to get up here, but that's not even close to necessary. That's not even close to necessary. Mark. Thanks, Kevin. All right, now I have to actually remember where everything is. <laughs> Could try spam spraying, but you only have finite water here. So, I don't trust my spam spraying. I wish I remembered what I called these as a kid, because I feel like it was something stupid. Anyway, you can soft lock yourself in this level if you spray this guy off. Because, like, 
They're surprisingly, they go surprisingly far if you spray them. Like that. So. <laughs> he has a red coin and, you know, he dies at the bottom. You're not getting that, that's for sure. Oh, I didn't see, uh, I didn't see Discord. I just basically got home, ate a peanut butter sandwich, and then set up the stream. I was gonna have burgers, but they seemed like really bad burgers. And I cooked them anyway, and, uh... What am I doing going in first person? We could just do that. But yeah, I cooked them and then they smelled like they actually smelled bad. And I was like, uh oh. And yeah, we'll, we'll deal with you later. Thanks for closing that distance. <laughs> Thanks, a bundle! Yeah, I'm doing it too early. The anticipation to spin jump is killing me! Killing me! But yeah, I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna 96 shine this because I have to go early. So we're probably not gonna do the red coins or the 100 coins, but... Sucks, but uh, Christmas. You can't do everything you want sometimes. All right. Um, is that no? We can do the bell. I'm like, what else can we do? And pachinko, of course. You don't need the boats to be running to do chinky. There is, but I wanna, I wanna do all this now. Whoa, Super Mario. Let's just... <laughs> Buffer and Spin Jump is very useful. You can't get the other one because the Shine Sprite goes way up. And I don't think there's a way to get it otherwise. Every time I try Spam Spraying this, it doesn't work, by the way. Speedrunners probably have a way. I don't. Now, the, the Shine Gate, that Shine goes all the way up. But there is a way to get that without Yoshi. So I want to show this off when I get the rocket nozzle, but... Uh... The... The blue coin fellas and... The box game are actually... Invisible rooms high above Isle Delfino. So what you do is you go in the box game, and then you do some shit in the door so that you end up spawning way above way up there and then you can hover to the shine from there i can't do it though i've tried doing it that's another thing i can't do i lied i can't do that either oops <laughs> i love doing that are you ready for peach to be stolen again actually you know what else we can do <laughs> I actually don't know the specifics of how this works, but it's the funny little thing that somehow doesn't lag the switch, even before they added the patch. There we go. <laughs> Look at him go! I don't think this, I think this lagged a bit on GameCube, actually. So the power of the Nintendo Switch. The power of the Nintendo Switch. They patched out it lagging during the Dead Sword. Oh, can I get out of this? Oh, I thought you could get out of this. <laughs> oh no. Help! 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 I think I, I might have done it wrong. I don't think Mario is supposed to be sideways. So you're supposed to be able to like jump out. Do I have any other like movement options here? No, it, this treats me as in the air. 
You can spam spray all you want. All right, we'll, we'll save and quit, I guess. Hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. No. Actually, I guess I should equip that as well. I don't know. I'm over here like, I should equip all the tricks I do. I don't think that's necessary. Oh, oh we can skip this. They have cutscene skipping technology in the game, and yet they don't let you skip it. You can't skip this, though. This, is, this isn't an, an instance. I guess. I don't think there's anything that could be like, because I've, I've wanted to jokingly say, uh, you know, hover, there's, yeah, there's something like hover storage. So you might notice that when Mario ground pounds, he goes slightly higher. Like, he, he jumps here, he barely reaches the top of the things, but when he ground pounds, his head reaches above there. So that's something that you use to get into Pachinko early, because the boats aren't coming. Normally you'd want to use the, well, most people, I think the intended way maybe is to use the rocket nozzle to boost up there, but you don't have to do that. Whoops. Uh, yeah, that's also how the Serena early works. There is Serena whenever, but I don't know if I can do the pause clip. There we go. No, you ground, you ground pound to get up, up on the little ledge. I don't know why I said it like that. In the past, I used to just run up this, and then I, th I, th I, th I forget who it was. Someone I was watching used the hover nozzle, maybe it was Griffin. And I'm like, oh, Mario doesn't lose his positioning there. So alright, here's Pachinko, this has very weird physics. Actually, I can show that off. Whoop, don't want to do that. God damn it, come on. They just put three right there, they were sick of this. So for some reason this wall is weird. Oh actually no, that's I mean that's a way to get that one. Usually when you get up there, it uh it just forces you to the side. I don't know why, probably to make it possible, but I can't guarantee that I will I will do this in one life, but I've never practiced Pachinko, I've just done it, you know? Hmm, this could be bad. We're good. If I do die, though, there's this funny thing where, uh... Mario goes, Whoa! When he falls, right? When he dies in these areas. But, uh... Especially in here, sometimes Mario just makes like this kind of weird purring sound. And that's because it's the W sound from the whoa. Oh, this could be bad. Yeah, wait, let's see if we can hear it. No, I think that's when you game over. This is the W sound from the whoa just rapidly repeating itself. <laughs> Which I think is really funny. Yeah, my strat for getting the coin down there is normally to land on a peg, and I just got a little impatient. <laughs> yeah, out of out of context, that's pretty funny. Oh, you you can just you can just hold left to get that one. I, I never knew that. Normally, I just land on one of the pegs, and I'm like, uh oh, uh oh. I wish I had a better camera. Thank God there's like, it's supposed. I think it's supposed to be glass, but they're like invisible walls. Otherwise, I would have just slid clean off. Yikes! Cyberpunk, am I right? All right. Oh wait, I didn't get that one. Oh, I didn't get the center one. Alright, and then just... That one down there, right? That, that was a little sketchy. 
I was kind of hoping, I mean, we could still get it, but sometimes when Mario stands on a peg, he just goes crazy with a because he's constantly falling on and off of it. I find it very funny. Here we go. This is the glitchiest part of the level, those pins right there. Because you can start walking to land in here, and then it can just shoot you right off. Right off! Oh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's funny every time. So, we could do Pianta. Eh, let's do Pianta. Everyone knows this, right? This is just common knowledge at this point. Okay, this is kind of, might be a bit difficult with a root basket lady. No, never mind. I didn't know if you could wall jump off of that wall. Some walls are just weird with wall jumping. You want a wall jump? Hell no! Everyone knows how to get into Pianta early though. So normally you can you can triple jump. I find that that's the easier one. Or oh man, I have not done this in forever. But mm. so you go into Mario Cam and then you do a spin jump, go into Mario Cam to turn yourself towards the wall. Mario then turns himself towards the wall. Then you press A twice. To exit Mario Cam and then do a wall jump. But I kind of suck at it! I, I could have gotten the wall jump if I didn't panic, but... That's how speedrunners do it, because it's faster than the triple jump, but... You know, I have to get good at it. Whoa! That's fine. Yeah, Pianta, Pinata. Back when we didn't know what the Enya was. Well, I pressed A to exit it. You get you get the idea though, right? <laughs> you know. Something like that. Just, let's do the triple jump, because it's easier, and it doesn't really require practice. What most people don't know is hold back during the third jump so that you don't stray too far away from the shine gate so that you can actually, like, make it to the ledge. That's my advice to you. Except, you know, you gotta actually get the triple jump as well. Another way to get up here that people did was use that pipe to get Yoshi. That pipe, that uh, sewer to get Yoshi up here. But that's outdated! Oops, that might have been way too early. It was definitely way too early. <laughs> Rusty. Dusty's real deal Mario Sunshine. Whoops. Yeah, if there was any game I was going to speedrun, it would be this one. Very often I've said that Paper Mario is my favorite game, but uh, speedrun, I just don't like it. It doesn't really represent what Paper Mario is, whereas the Sunshine speedrun represents what Sunshine is, a game with really cool movement. So... That's like, I also I also don't like the Tulip speedrun. It's interesting and impressive, but, you know. It's not what Tulip is all about. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> you know, are there vertiginous golf speedruns? Alright. You can't water slide on this. I mean, you can, but then you can clip through it, and it's weird. It's, it's weird. It cuts you off, stuff like that. Uh, hello? 
probably faster just to be smarter with uh, how you do it, but... Never let go of B. Mario will grab it. Yeah, the Chulub guy's making a new game. Uh, nice. We're gonna beam this guy right in the fucking face. <laughs> and where are the other... Where are the other doggies? Oh, doggy! Where are they, dude? So, in case I forget, which I shouldn't, but, uh, at the end of this, Floyd has a text box that says, always take care of your pets, and that prevents the shine from spawning. So to get rid of it, you just, to get rid of it, you just pause and unpause. <laughs> the shine spawns a bit faster. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mom! One interesting thing about the lava is it always sends you back from where you came. So, you know, in the third mission of this shine, um, you can't just have Mario bounce. Spam spraying is so good, dude. You can only spam spray once. Yeah, you can't just, like, cheese your way to the goal. Whoa! That's not how that's supposed to go. Good. Yeah, you can you can dive and still hold B and Mario will grab stuff. It's very nice. Thank you, Super Mario. Like that. <laughs> if I was speedrunning, it would be immediate. Like, once the chomp went in. Alright, and there's something else as well that I think is really funny. Uh, should I get more water? No, we're fine. So before I forget... Because I'm probably not doing the 100 coins, but an easy way to get 100 coins is to do this. Oh no! Is it not in this mission? Or is it this one? I could have sworn it was that one, though. Maybe it's not in this mission. Okay. You ground but I'm almost certain you ground pound that and like, fucking 40 coins appear. It's insane. And no one knows about it. There they are! Because, you know, their heads are in the ground, but they just clip queen through. Man, I put two right on top of each other. Look at that. Creeps. Yeah. There is Yoshi Skip that I'm going to try later. I don't think the loading zone is there, though. I mean, yeah. If the loading zone was there, speedrunners wouldn't do these other missions, so... That's that. <laughs> did you think that? Did you think they were, uh, white? That's pretty funny. That was close enough, right? But... Because it's like, then the big chomp turns gold, which is better than silver. Ah! Oh. And then after this, I'm probably gonna go to the bathroom. Well, that's not what I wanted to happen. I wanted to go off the ledge and then do a hover. And it would have been cool. Unfortunately, it wasn't cool. This is the race with Piantissimo. <laughs> they just go pale because they died. Jesus. Peach, we're all the way up here. Oh, Mario's pretty happy about it. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Be right back in like a minute or two.
Mario. All right, Hammer. The mod will be here. So originally, I was like, I was thinking about this mission last night because I'm like, literally I'm going through all the missions in my head. I'm like, is there anything of note in these missions? And uh, there actually is something of note here. Yeah. Originally, before they patched it out in 3D All Stars, the when the thing starts used to be a long sensor beep, and I thought it was really funny, and I think they should have left it in, but they didn't. I think I I probably fell asleep around, like, 4.30. So, you know, not the best. <laughs> Normally I get 8 hours, and uh, I woke up at, like, 10. I wanted to wake up at 8, but I didn't. Anyway, if uh, you position yourself so that you're talking to this lady, Pianta's tech or Piantissimo's text box will come from her. <laughs> I found that accidentally. I just think it's really funny how she's like, "Grr, yes, grr." I used to think that, like, she has to, uh, push you in, but, or he has to push you into her to do it, but I think you can just have the button prompt above her, or probably any NPC if you're fast enough, and it'll come from them. That's worth testing at some point, maybe. Alright, this, this funny shine. There are, like, five ways to do it. <laughs> Let's go over all of them. Actually, there are more than five ways to do it. I think Woot did it in a really weird way. Like, you can jump from that tiny bridge. Stuff like that. All right. Uh, kind of scary. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to... The speedrun way to do it is to take damage from that Wind Spirit, and then, uh... You would dive, and then a spin jump out of the rollout. I didn't do that, so I ended up there, and I'm like, oh, this is awkward. Kind of scary. Kind of don't want to game over, then I have to get back up here, but it's fine. I mean, that's one way. Yeah, it's two now. I'm kind of on a time limit. You get the idea. I might I might end up doing it anyway. But... I think Carl did it a different... Like, he did it over there. Fucking wide. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I was too slow on the dive. I slid. It's too tempting! I want to do it! Yeah, Carl got hit by a wind spirit on the right side of the stage and then made it on, like, a box. And I'm like, you know what? In principle, it works. It's still a thing. It's pretty funny. Yeah, there's that. Obviously the fastest, most direct way to get there. What I used to do as a kid, 
which is go over to this side on the left. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. After hitboxes. So you can walk along this fence, or get out of the way swoopings do. I don't know how he swoops. Like, nothing about what they do is they don't they don't swoop at all. Or there's this line of not goop right here. And you can navigate your way across here. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Most people go for the fence, I think, but the fact that there's just an empty line of goop there is really funny. And you can't you can't get up this, I think, so. I always go up this one first. Eee. It's scary though, I'm still scared, you know? Bad idea. Wait, where am I? <laughs> Maybe just do a side flip dive or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I trust the slope. Look at Mario's legs. I love how they do that. Well, actually, something funny, which I wanted to show off later, is Bianco Hills is supposed to be right over this cliff, right? Like, where the life meter is right now. I'm pretty sure that's where Bianco Hills is supposed to be. Uh... Oh, we haven't unlocked it yet, so we can't really see it on the map. But it's not there. Like, it's right there, but it's not there. They don't load it in. Same goes for Bianca. You can't see Pianta Village. Okay, I pro I'm like, I probably shouldn't have dived, but whatever. And then you just do whatever option you want. And you're good. There we go. That's how I used to do it as a kid. Yeah, Carl, that, that box over there. Uh, he, he made it to, like, this the fence with this mushroom and then jumped from the box over to here, which I thought was funny. Alrighty. Uh, see if I can make it to there. Fucking son of a bitch. Game over. <laughs> Nice spin jump, Chris. Great spin jump, Chris. It is my birthday. Anyway, we get to watch this again. Uh, yeah, I, I thought about that before, where like, if I wasn't born on Christmas, uh, I think I would still love Christmas. It's kind of hard to not love Christmas. Excuse me, isn't it? But, uh, I don't think I'd be so heavily associated with it. Who knows where we'd be right now? Thanksgiving sucks. I don't even- I've, I've never liked Thanksgiving. Of course, the food! Oh, the food's okay. I have to go to family visits, and I never liked that as a kid. You know, just like this. And then, you know, what it, what it represents as well is like, ugh. Gross. Gross holiday. God fucking damn it. <laughs> of, all the, of all the things I can't do, it's like the most basic trick in the game. I guess most well known, probably. It's more apt. Honestly, I didn't know you could do it with a triple jump for a while. Yeah, don't trust that one. I mean, someone has to represent the non-Christmas holidays, right? But I just, I, 
I mean, it's probably because of the whole, like, Christmas branding, but I do love the idea of Santa as a deity. I love that so much. Okay, that should be it. Never mind. You know, I'm like, I didn't stray too far from God's light there. That would be funny. <laughs> okay. Wasn't expecting that. God damn it. <laughs> Mario. Maybe I'm starting to hover too late. Yeah, that was probably it. All right, let's do the worst, the worst way to get this shine. And it's not the Nintendo way. I think this was in the fucking strategy guide, which like, why? No, wait, no! Because the movement is great and the levels are great for moving in. And it has so many little tips and tricks. It's very cool. Whoop, don't want that. Not like I'm ever gonna actually go for the blue coins. Oh wait, hold on, maybe I can... Ah, oh, if, if a tree grows and you turn the camera away from it, then it'll stop growing. Like, it'll just stop its growth. And then you can have a tiny tree. I think that's really funny. Anyway, here's a here's the worst way to do it. Little flecks of water get off of Mario, and in a cool little thing, they actually uh, actually like are there. They're it's actually water. You know, it's not just a little particle, meaningless particle effect or anything. So you can just do something like this. Now, as a kid, I didn't think to spin jump, so I always did it with side flips, and that fucking sucked. Don't you dare. Poco, you son of a bitch. And then, you know, you can just... Do that. <laughs> so there's that. And then, I can get Flood for the Nintendo way. Like, I didn't get Flood for that because I was afraid I would screw it up. And then, you know, I ended up dying. So that worked out pretty well. Alright, uh, so the Nintendo way is... Is it gonna ruin this bit for a second? Whoa, there's an M there! Make sure you look everywhere for all your blue coins. I think blue coins are fun if you have a guy. Which is weird for me to say, right? Normally I'm like, I want to do everything completely blind. Fuck you. But, uh... So the intended way is to go under the level and then come up at a more favorable spot. So, you know, you're supposed to try all the things. I feel like no one ever... Like, no one ever actually thinks to do it. There's this one all the way back here. Hello, man. He has a mustache. Don't chuck me. At least I think so. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, Here's my code. Hold on, give me a sec. My code for gates is A always goes up. Okay, so those coins are still intact. And these coins are still intact. That mushroom problem that mushroom down there probably works now. Everyone cheeses it, but the speedrun cheese is really good. So A is always up. So when you're hanging like this, A kicks you up, B drops you. But when you're hanging on the side, B hits Mario hits against the side of the thing, and A <laughs> jumps. So A, you're jumping upward on the side, and A, you're kicking upward when you're hanging. That's how I remember. Why do they make it so weirdly complicated? I don't know. I think you can also just go under the level. Like, you don't need Flood to reach this part of the level. I actually never really tested or thought about that. Is 
This part, this is also good because Mario goes. Watch out. This does this for some reason. So you're supposed to like, you can use the swing to get over there or you can use the mushrooms. Though I think you're supposed to do it on the inside. So mushrooms are kind of better, I would say. I guess that's why this one is here. <laughs> Actually, am I? I think I'm supposed to... Yeah, hit, hit that thing. So A goes up. Not the best camera. B to punch, A to jump. Like, you have to keep these in your mind at all times. Can I... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Wasn't there an Electra Koopa over here? Oh, God. <laughs> the intended way sucks! This is even- Whoa! This is even where I'm supposed to go? Where- Oh, my God! Hold on. There. Right? Oh god. Okay. <laughs> I got stuck there, I guess. Seriously, I can't move the camera back. Oh! Move it the other way, I guess. Okay. I'm surprised I made it that far though. A to go up. God damn you. <laughs> and then you just safely jump across without blood. Hooray! Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so easy. You don't even have to do spin jumps or anything. What a leap! Oh, go, go away. Chicken! That's what everyone calls it. Gold mushroom. One thing I always thought was funny was... Open salami! What was he? Oh, it's no! <laughs> Thank you for the host. But yeah, or was it a raid? Did you spray the moon ball on here? There we go. I don't want to collect it. In the strategy guide, that's called Super Mario Moonshine. And I'm like... You can't, you can't say that! Reference alcohol? Because you know, the secret shine is spraying the sun on the top of the tree. I'm not your fa- I'm not your mama! Yeah, like, <laughs> you need a guide for blue coins. And you know, they only show up in specific missions and stuff, so... A blue coin, and not even like something specific like that, just a random ass blue coin suddenly won't be there in like mission three, you know? Gotta get in mission one. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Once again. I always forget it's my birthday. <laughs> I think like last year, my Twitter bio said that I was 23 for like two months before I remembered. <laughs> And then I always forget my birth- or not my birthday, but like, my age. So, the funny thing about this fella is... He always avoids you. So, if I could... Please... Okay... No, 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 no! He always picks the path you're not on. Oh wait, on. Damn you! I wanted- you can- you can route him into the path. You can route him straight in there and then just grab his chain and he'll jump in. Alright, let's see if I can do this. No. No. I wanna get in the hot tub while he's, uh, jumping in. No! Now usually, people have experiences of that killing them. 
But I'm pretty sure you can also, uh... You can also just float in the water in there. And the teeth are a one-way invisible wall. So if you do get stuck in there, you can just go out through the teeth. I didn't get it, unfortunately. What most speedruns do is while the Chain Chomp is jumping, they do that. <laughs> so they slide on the Chain Chomp during the cutscene so they can just jump up and get the shine. Is it Christmas? Yes! Yeah, you know, you usually, like, people use the barrels because they're kind of like spam spray, but you can just spam spray. That shine's easy. As a kid, that's one of the hard shines. I love how there are shines that are the hard shines as a kid, and that's one of them. All right, here we go. Are you, are you guys ready for uh, Yoshi Skip? Actually, wait, hold on, hold on. Because there's this, uh... There's, uh... Because I'm remembering the fruit tree now. Get away from me, you fox. I don't know if I can actually do this, but let's see if we can. No, no, no! Oh, you bastard! Because you want to kick the durian into the... You want to kick the durian into the tree, right? And you know what we can do? Where is it? <laughs> Goodbye! Please respawn. That was the respawn sound. Yeah, this empty space is for a red coin on the eighth mission. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! I, I don't know, I was like, maybe you jump into it. I know there's a way to get it, like, to not do that. That was smooth. Did you see that? Can you, like, maybe just, like, spray it a tiny bit? Okay, that should be good enough. And then... Damn it! Ugh, oh, okay, it's not, it's not as easy as I thought, but if you're, like, the durian's in the tree and you walk in it at, like, a 45 degree angle... Oh, I guess it died, maybe we could try again. If you walk into it at a 45 degree angle, you get a bunch of funny sounds and shit, but it's being complicated and I don't have a lot of time. Maybe later. And also, I, I don't know if I can do Yoshi Skip reliably, so... Okay, now it should give the coin, by the way. Just like that. That's a lot of coins. Bet you didn't know that as a kid when getting a hundred shine or a hundred coins. I certainly didn't. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So, that thing is called an orange juice generator. At least the guide calls it an orange juice generator. And I like that name, so we're gonna call it the orange juice generator. Normally you need Yoshi to get rid of it. It's not, it's not animating, even though we're this close. Kind of scary. So what some people do, so that they get, like, the perfect angle, is they, like, hang off this part of the... Is this, like, a decagon or something? Most people have trouble side-flipping. That was, like, an accident. So then this... This sets your angle. You don't have to do that. I've, do I've done it without doing that, but... Then this third line right here, you just right on through. Did that way too late. We can try again. Hunk. <laughs> I wish you could skip this, but you can't. <laughs> uh, Tozer just stands there. So actually, I was thinking about it last night, too. Uh, I, I think I just realized this last night, that the death sound in Super Mario Sunshine is just the Mario death sound. Like, in Galaxy, it's kind of obvious, right? In this one, I think they kind of cover it up a bit, right? Like... 
Da 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 da. What does what the fuck does the Mario Death sound sound like? This is bad. We're good. It's just do 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 do. Right? I don't know. <laughs> I just thought it sounded a bit different, but maybe not. Alrighty. So the, ang the, ang the whole angle thing doesn't make any sense, because when you grab this, you're already at the right angle. Oh, yeah, it's just for the camera, I guess, so that when you hold down, it's definitely gonna work like that. Alright, then press B down and hover in. Hold down. And I missed it. God damn it. Maybe I should do the fucking camera angle thing. Well, maybe I should just center the camera once I grab the ledge? I don't know. If you're messing that up, that's because, uh... Well, if you're... Because one problem I always had when trying to do that was... Mario would just automatically get up. That's because you're still holding down. You have to let go of down before Mario grabs the ledge, so kind of let Mario free fall a bit. That's how you do it. But no one, especially when they're learning, no one wants to do that because they're scared, you know? I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I, I don't know if you can hear the controller, but it's so satisfying here that hearing the clacks of the octagonal gate when you do a spin jump. That's missing from the Switch version. It's a fucking shame. Makes sense. All right, see you, Nov. Oh, maybe not. Hmm, <laughs> weird. I thought, I thought that that was the problem. I thought I had diagnosed it, but maybe not. No, he's still going up. Maybe I'm still holding down. If only I had an input reader. Okay, that, that was just way too early. Okay. That doesn't make any sense, Chris. <laughs> the camera just doesn't go that way. Wait. Get in there, you son of a bitch! Okay, fine. I'll do the camera. I'll do the camera angle thing. I'll do the fucking camera thing. Because it should be easy. I've never had this problem before. The only problems I've had were not automatically automatically grabbing the ledge. Whoa! Calm down, Super Mario. Doom. Yeah, I might have to split this into two streams or something, which sucks. Which sucks. I think I was telling Griffin to do this and he was too scared. And I'm like, it's so easy. Well, oh, that spin was way too early. It's so satisfying. The buffered spin jump is the most satisfying movement option in any video game. It's just a fact. It is just a fact. So, do I want it to be this one? Maybe I want it to be this one. I've, I was facing the camera here. Actually, he, huh. I think you know everything, right? All right. Stop doing that, dude. I don't have to worry about keeping Mario's angle. This isn't fucking gelato skip. Mm, I don't think I made it. Dude, how am I fucking this up? So much. I have to imagine that that was not the right lunch to grab. It's, <laughs> it's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, any remaining snow uh, got completely washed away. Well, it was like 60 degrees yesterday. So, like a 60 degree Christmas Eve, I was out in my shorts and uh, 
and then it just fucking rained. I thought the power was gonna go out and I wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to do this stream. That's what I was afraid of. That was kind of keeping me up at night, too. I'm like, no, don't do that. <laughs> the sound effects just give up. Wrong one? No, this is right. Okay. Damn it, Super Mario. I think I have to be higher up. That's the problem. I think that fucked with the camera, whatever. No! What the <laughs> I, I I wish I could diagnose this. God damn it! This was always the problem I had. Maybe it's because I'm going in at a part of a tree that still has collision, kind of? I don't know. Maybe I'm missing because I'm grabbing at the wrong part. See, that's like not even close. What am I- What the fuck am I doing? Wrong. I'm about to go down there again. Like, what this really, uh, what's the word? What this really shows is how long it takes for Shadow Mario to just run up to her and grab her. Did you see that? That was weird. It's like, dude. <laughs> like, he's he's so slow. Just get him. Ooh, this this was a miscalculation. Never mind. It's easy. Like I like I said earlier. Okay. So you fucking maybe I shouldn't try grabbing the ledge. Honestly, maybe I should just do it the way I always used to do it. My own way. That's the thing. I feel like I feel like the camera's important. I'm psyching myself out with the automatic getup so hard as well. Makes me worried for gelato skip. Maybe I just won't do the skips now, and then I'll do the skips in a stream tomorrow. And we can. Whoa. Oh, I thought I could go in the loading zone from there. Wait, did. Mario didn't jump into the pipe, did he? Did you. What was that? Hello? What was that? Ooh, I almost, like, touched the ceiling there. Funny part is, like, after this is Chucksters. Chucksters are fine. I think Chucksters are fine. You ask me. Yeah, I, I, the stick was not there then. The stick did not exist. All right. Oh, or you could just hover in like that. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I guess once Mario's kind of in, he's already in. I thought you had to just hold down, and then Mario would force his way in. So something funny about Chucksters is if you mash A and Y while they're throwing you. 
<laughs> they will they will fucking yeet you uh farther and in the wrong direction. And I always think that's funny. Alright, here we go, Chucksters. Everyone's favorite. Like, see, you want to make sure the camera angle is proper and everything. Mocha mama, humama. And everyone always says it, and they're right. Piantas are the fucking best. Uh, hello? Okay, fine. I like doing this as Mario. <laughs> the problem with this is you can if you're if you have enough forward momentum you can just clip through this or if you're going at an angle mario like goes at a 45 degree angle and then is launched off anyway this guy's supposed to throw you to that island up there but if you just like let him walk forward a bit and then talk to him and hold forward then yeah Aww. So there's a technique where if you bounce on this guy's head, it's called rat bounce. He won't stop at the corners. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully this works. Ah! <laughs> I always I always like doing it like that, man. I always get the angle wrong, but I always like doing it like that. It's it's fun! The game is fun! Rachu! Like, almost certain he says watch it, but uh... Rachu! If you can throw me, then I would be impressed. You have to grow out a mustache though, okay? I think there's only one Pianta in the game without a mustache. That's a Chuckster. This is, could be bad. This is bad. <laughs> Miss. We won't go for the one up yet. We'll go for the one up once we're out alive so we don't have to do Yoshi skip again. Now I'm paranoid. This guy's like easy. It's like the tutorial Chuckster. But he's not the tutorial Chuckster. The guy at the start is a Chuckster. And he's like, if you see fellas, I think he, does he say fellas with mustaches specifically? I don't remember. But, uh, like if you see one of us, then watch out because I'm a Chuckster. And then he throws you into the wall. It's a very small throw. I'm so, now I'm so paranoid. Thank God. He didn't talk to me then. See, I feel like I'm slightly to the side still. Isn't that weird? It's fine, I saved time by not going to the island. Oh, I guess we're doing it the normie way. Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch! The fact that he stopped- Whoa! The fact that he stopped in the center there was, uh, really funny. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I just went through that, man. God damn it, and I'm like- the Chucksters are obviously, like, hard shine as a kid. I don't think they're that bad. I'm just paranoid now. And also, I'm, I want to do that fucking trick. God, come on, dude. Yeah, they once you get within proximity of them, they, they chuck. I want to do it from the corner, though, but, like... Okay, I guess we're doing it from the corner. I wonder if I could do it from this corner. It's 
Kinda scary. Okay, we'll wait. Like from here, you know? <laughs> I always I always make the angle too steep. In reality, it's not that bad. See, I think that's too steep. Yeah, way too steep. I psyched myself out again. Fuck! I didn't, know that. I didn't know that was a factor! Okay. Now we know. Here we go. Might be at a bad angle. Okay. Good. Higher, higher! <laughs> was I... Was I not holding the, uh... Thing enough? If you want to see one hell of a Sunshine Speedrunner, watch Dede, dude. Dede is so good. Sometimes I just tune into those streams and I'm like, how do you just do this on every run you do? Like, <laughs> it's crazy. I, the fucking A got me, dude. In normal sunshine, you can't talk to people with A. In 3D All-Stars, the jump button is the same button as talking to people. Which is just stupid. Ooh, weird. Fucking the A, the A prompt got me again, dude. Please work. Yeah, I was gonna say that has to be it. There's no way I'm doing it the normie way. As for what's on that island over there, I actually don't know still. I've never gone there, ever. I've never seen what's been there, ever. I've never looked up what's been there, ever. And you know what? I kind of like it that way. <laughs> Someone make a Chuckster mod in Rivals of Aether. I guess it would just be a Pianta mod. They could use the tree trunk. Because, you know, Piantas have palm trees. As the baseball bats in Mario Super Sluggers. This shine is cool. I just went away for a bit. Now look, I can't believe another fine mess. I didn't subdue these. Some of the villains are trapped in that burning loose, and I just finished evacuating everyone a while back. What in the world's happening? I just think I might start crying. <laughs> uh. Alright, what time am I gonna get? You're supposed to do a rollout into that, but... God, I suck at this. Whoa! Oh wait, right. Do -do -do -do. I think you're supposed to spray the guy over there. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Vertical flood controls. That's right, okay. Then you're supposed to, like, do... <laughs> oh, you love it. I love to see it. Oh, wait. 
Yeah, you're supposed to get to the other side of her and then dive towards this. And then the spam sprays were supposed to hit. Right? Right, you don't even have to stay there and hold it. And then that spray is supposed to hit the guy over here. And then you do, like... That into, like, a spin jump so that you just get over this wall. Uh, then I think a new method is, like, diving... Onto this mushroom, doing a rollout off of it, and then spraying, and you hit the person all the way over there or something? I don't know, maybe that's... Maybe that's not right. Maybe maybe predicting my time would have been bad. Uh, yeah, you hit you hit the person right there. That's crazy. And then you go like, wait for his hitbox, something like that. That's what you're supposed to do for all of these. Like, watch watch the world record of this shine. It's crazy. It's crazy, dude. I love it so much. I think you're supposed to get both of these guys at once. Average Trey also did a video. Oh shit! <laughs> Average Trey also did a video uh, about how this is like the most competitive level in the game. Oh, this is bad. Rest in peace, my time. I'm sitting here explaining stuff. I would like to grind this out one day. I mean, I honestly, I would, I would actually like to grind out the speed run. The problem is, I'd like to uh, grind out my backlog more. This is this would take a lot of time, so. Did anyone predict a twenty four thirty? Anyone? <laughs> Jesus. See, and the problem is, I'd rather be a lazy piece of shit than play my backlog too. So that's like another big problem. Maybe twenty twenty one will be different. Maybe I'll actually play video games. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, Pianta's in need is such a cool shine to watch. I love it so much. If I was talking about Dede, you, like sometimes I just tune into the stream and he's doing Pianta's in need, and I'm like, you just do this shit? What? How do you just do this shit? Well, I have been playing Final Fantasy XIV. That is a game. Maybe I should just be like, yeah, I finished uh, A Realm Reborn. Yeah, I finished uh, Heaven's Word. That'll make me feel like I'm actually beating stuff. Doing stuff. You know what I mean? Yikes! Yeah, Shadow Mario is easy. You just stand a distance. I mean, if you're casual, you know, which I'm doing. You just stand a distance away from him and then spray. And then, if you go into Mario Cam and just turn the camera any which way, and spray too, because Flood goes a bit crazy, then this cutscene will be a little weird. I think if you spray during any shine, while collecting any shine, Flood will keep doing it. It's not just the Shadow Marios. Anyway. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll do... I guess I'll do Pianta 8. I don't have to. The only condition for winning the game is doing all the Shadow Marios. But, I can I can show some things off now that the rocket nozzle is here. So the one coin everyone forgets about is the one right under here, and you already know how to get it. Easy. Can you slide off of the grates? Maybe you maybe you can slide and then do that onto this mushroom instead. WB! Alright, can I remember where all the coins are? I think I have a pretty good job of remembering. Or do a pretty good job of remembering. But... Here. There's one in the boxes. <laughs> Just don't do it while running. I like how the, uh, the angry chain chomps thing is still here. 
I think the boxes were the last ones Carl did. I thought that was really funny. And I'm like, I want to tell him. I've been telling him everything. But I, I don't want to tell him this. This is the only game where I'll backseat you. <laughs> Pretty much. I will willingly and shamelessly do it, even if the rest of the chat hates it. And what you're supposed to do for this shine is, like, get the bees to be angry at you and then run around while they're chasing you to get them. But, you know, the dangerous way to do it is, uh, do that and if you get hit, they can knock you off and it's very scary, so... Whoops. A big tree. Die. 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 That particle effect when you kick it, it goes crazy. It goes crazy. That's what happens. It fucking it goes fucking crazy. Fuck. I just want to do it. Die. Oops. Durians are illegal, because they're so bad. Yeah, another way you can do the third shine, by the way, is come up through this grate, and then this is relatively clean, and then just do a spin jump right onto there. So here's something I didn't know until I think, like, Carl's stream. I did not know this at all, but they're quite... Are they above here? Yeah, there are clouds above here, and you can just rocket nozzle all the way up to the top of the tree from here if you want. Which is pretty cool. I didn't I did not know those existed. Whoa. 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 You know what? Let's just do the way I used to do it as a kid. You're supposed to use the swing to uh, swing up and jump, but because it just gives you that big jump, you can just do that. The rocket nozzle. Rocket storage. Oh shit, I shouldn't have gotten this. Uh, there's something else that's really funny, because normally you're supposed to like use the rocket nozzle to get up here, and it's weird because this is slippery, and like you have to jump and make sure you're holding forward enough, otherwise this happens, but... You know, you don't actually have to do that. Obviously, you don't have to do that because rocket storage exists. <laughs> Except this blocks it. <laughs> but, yeah. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure that the GameCube controller gives you actual, like, trigger sensitivity. Yeah, it does, okay. I do love that. So here's the funny thing. Uh, we don't have it unlocked on the map, but th you know, this is the top of the island. Noki Bay is right over there in that alcove. But the funny thing is, you can't see Noki Bay from anywhere. Whoops. You can't see Noki Bay from anywhere. Even here. Even with rocket storage. Son of a bitch. I'm doing it a bit too fast, I guess. I think I'm out. Son of a... Maybe, maybe I wasn't holding out. Whatever. Uh, how do I get more water? <laughs> yep. No, oh, we're good. Yeah, Kevin and I are planning on doing a... Uh, Street where we draw the same thing together, and you know, he's an actual artist and I'm not. So it should be funny. Alright. Alright, Shadow. 
you know, secret shine for spraying the sun here, and everyone knows that, right? So is this cloud supposed to look like Yoshi? I always thought it was supposed to look like Yoshi. It's kind of obvious, right? And then they have it in uh, Starshine Beach Galaxy and Galaxy 2, which is based on this game, which is cool. I did too early. Did too late. Hopefully two is enough. It's definitely not. Definitely not. Son of a bitch. It's been a while since I've done rocket storage, but I mean... Whoop. Even better than I thought. Didn't switch back to the spray nozzle before sidestepping. God damn it! Just. <laughs> uh, what was supposed to be a quick little showcase is now turning into. I've forgotten how to rocket storage, apparently. I do love how the weep just catches you. Hey! Come on. That should be enough, right? You can kind of see it. That's the- that blue part is the quiff that surrounds it. But that's not it. Also, you can't see Bianco. It's not there. Bianco is not there. But yeah, you can't actually see Noki Bay, but it's there. It's there. All right. Uh. Woo. <laughs> Woo. All right. Where's the, where's the hover nozzle in this place? I think it's here, right? No. Where the? F oh, wait, it's up here, right? I don't actually know. I know everything about this game, but where the hover nozzle is in this place. Does anyone know? I want to show the stupid tree trunk thing. I could have sworn it was like where this box was. I mean, easier way would just be to die, but then I have to recollect everything again. Dude, where? Is it over here? Like. In the grass, maybe? Just never notice it? Oh my god. Where's the, where's the hover nozzle? Thought I saw blue, that's not it. Where is, where is the hover nozzle? Like, hello? <laughs> I thought she wasn't dancing. We were too far away, but now nah. Just down there? No? Ah, let's see. Over nozzle Pianta. Why is why is it a YouTube video? Like What? Who's gonna who's gonna watch the video? Uh I guess me apparently, because Google Images doesn't have it. All right, fine. No, no, no. It's on the fucking cloud. Okay. Uh. Whoop, missed it. We're good, we're good, we're good. I could have sworn there was one on the mainland, though. You can use rocket storage to get over here, but you know, whatever. 
I like these fluffs because they can clip you into walls if they're close enough to the ground. Also, you might not have known this, but clouds expand when you spray them with water. Because they're made of water. Incroyable! Alright, uh, oh shit. <laughs> I have to, hold on, I have to get the upper nozzle out, which... I think, I guess they give you the hover nozzle if you're, like, afraid of, uh, going back. So did you see that? Mario could just stand in the box. <laughs> okay, you can't water slide on the cloud. Whoops! Son of a bitch! I guess we're dying anyway. Ah! I mean, we don't, we don't have to get, we don't have to get the shine. <laughs> I do want to throw the stupid tree thing, though. I guess I could do it in any level, but whatever. This one has the coolest music. Wait. Is it like- is that the star theme? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just- No. It can't be, right? I'm never good at, uh, hearing... songs in other songs, unless it's, like, very obvious. Like, the Mario 64, everything is Peach's slide. Whole thing, you know? Which is actually Bob on Battlefield. Never good at hearing that. There we go. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Woo! Whoa! It goes the other way too! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty funny. You can just go up there like that. Woo! And then how like it hovers down like that? It's so weird. Just don't miss the center. And there you go. We'll get this one for the road. How about that? Why not? Because this only has one secret level, so they needed to put another shine somewhere since they can't put red coins in a secret level. There's Flood. He's just chilling. Alright, so... <laughs> so here's the funny thing about Serena early. You can only do it during this exact section of the game. Like, once, uh, once Shadow Mario has Peach in her hands in Delfino. So, the idea is there's the loading zone right under here. There's a, a piece of ground right under the pipe here that you can reach. And in order to reach that, see this little piece of roof in the wall? We're, we want to stand on that. So, in order to do that, you have to side flip, hover... And then use the lift of the hover. And at the end, do a ground pound, and the lift of the ground pound should get you on it. You have to, you have to clip into the thing first. I usually use this square. That's my, that's my preference. I think I had it there. Ah, I think I was too far forward. Thankfully, this is here if you fuck up, so... At least you have that. So there's that, and then there's Serena Whenever, which is getting into Serena Whenever using the pause thing before. Uh, I actually don't know how 
to get up here with the pineapple <laughs> easily. Ah. I think you I think you do this with the pineapple, or you could do it with the papaya maybe. Nice spin jump. Pause. I don't. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do the pause fruit clip. I guess. When, I wonder if it's like the game is lagging. I think we can just easily pick this one up again. I'm worried about pausing again, because that might mess it up. See, I don't think it was turning there. I don't know. <laughs> the funny thing is, though, that uh, it when you leave a level, which hopefully we'll see, it, it warps you out up here, so you have to do the clip again. You have to do either clip again. This isn't used in speedruns, because it's, it's not practical. <laughs> well, I had to look up Serena early, uh, when Carl's like, Can I get any more shines in here? Let's just, let's just do Serena early. I, I don't know how to do that. I will look into that later. There we go! Just go under here. There's land here. How convenient. And then... There's the loading zone! Easy, right? The Manta Storm. This was one of the hard levels as a kid, too. We have spam spraying now, though, so... Those eyes are on top of those glasses. <laughs> For sure. Anyway. No, oh, please tell me my nightmare is over. You can save me. I don't know why, but you don't seem very capable to me. Listen, I'll start around noon. This giant manta shaped thing showed up. It was a paper thin floating silhouette. It came and covered the hotel grounds with an electric goop. Oh, then the horror! What beautiful hotel! My poor building is sitting in the middle of the awful ooze. Why me? Why? Now I've got the staff cleaning up, and where's my hotel? What am I supposed to do? I can't just sit back. Back <laughs> that gossamer ghoul. Do something. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Be the panicked man. I'm gonna split them up a little more so that single, uh... Hmm, this is weird. There we go! <laughs> I love Mario getting electrocuted, by the way. It's so funny. Yeah, as a kid, I think everyone would always uh, do that. Woo. I don't know, like, the... the <laughs> like, a, a consistent way to do this. Just spam tray, you know? Roll RNA, I guess. Yeah, you can also, like, aim yourself, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then I tried this off in my last Sunshine stream, but as a kid, whenever they chased me- Whoa, hello. Whenever they chased me, I would, uh... Woo! 
Yahoo! <laughs> oh, Mar when Mario actually dies from being electrocuted, that's so good. I oh, I should have actually been more careful. I forgot I have to do this again. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, see? You can't, you can't get back in normally. If I knew how to do Serena whenever, it would be a lot easier, but... Whatever. Hold the phone for a sec. Yeah, you can only do this when Shadow Mario was holding Peach. It's, it's so weird. Okay, now I can't get clip. Now I can't even get the clip in. Whoop! Too far, too far! <laughs> too far back! That's the thing, like, the camera pans out because of the fucking underground area, so you can't actually get a good look of how close Mario is to the wall. So then you overshoot it. I moved back too far. And then because I was mashing ground pound, it uh it went too far. Maybe I should just move on. <laughs> Maybe I'll just move on. Just get the stupid horse. Let me go get some water. Not in real life, obviously. Oops. And then we'll actually do the first level of the game. But you know, you can do all the Serena stars, you can do all the Pianta, star Pianta Village stars. But yeah, this is easy. Just stays a consistent length away from you the entire time. Ow, ow, ow! Not fair! Completely unfair! You shouldn't be allowed to use tools like that! For some reason, I love that line. I don't know why. You shouldn't be allowed to use tools like that! Alright, so here's the thing. Once Shadow Mario makes a thing, if you spam spray... I missed it, but the water that stays on the wall then automatically cleans it. <laughs> so, you can just... You can just jump right in if you want. Here's episode one. We're gonna skip episode one. Everyone knows about this, right? Well, there are like... I didn't know that there were like some baby ways of doing it, too. Whoops. Ah! Could have been cool. I could have been cool. But yeah. Like, <laughs> you don't have to use the pond skater like I always thought. You can just you can just jump up there from here, which I didn't know about until I think Griffin did it. So <laughs> it's funny, but it's not fast. So there's some curious things about the reflections here. I think in all reflections of the game, Blood's nozzle doesn't exist. Blood's nozzles don't show up. See, it's just a stump. I think that goes for, like, mirrors in the hotel and other stuff. And also, a curious little thing is... Up here, you can see the vines and stuff, right? But in the reflection, they're not there. And there's just a, bowl, a brown ball. And that's where the game spawns the, uh... Where'd that motherfucker go? That's where the game spawns the... Did he kill himself somehow? So the game spawns the rolling balls, but like, what? Hold on, did he? Was anyone paying attention? Hold on, <laughs> hey, hold on a second. He just killed himself, dude. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed to go fast. You've ruined it! You
you ruined it! What the heck? I guess we can show off this now. Whatever. <laughs> My man just killed himself. Isn't there supposed to be a Pianta here? I could have sworn there was a... No? I could have sworn there was a Pianta covered in ink and you could see him under the ground. Maybe maybe that's when you get a certain number of shines or something. I'm gonna... Because I want to I wanna see that. Before I kill that gatekeeper. It's funny how we immediately unlocked Riga Harbor despite doing nothing in Bianca Bells. Absolutely nothing. This works. <laughs> it's something, right? Alright. Man, I just I just can't just can't do movement. Alright, he's far away. What a son of a bitch. You are such a bastard. You are such a bastard. This is RNG, by the way. Get over here. Fuck. <laughs> because optimally you want him to be close to here. So that you just like spam spray, like you know. Something like, come on, come over. No? You like spam spray him so that he becomes springy and then just ho hover over him. But he's kind of being a bitch, so. Ah, and if you dive. I hate you. I, I, I hate you. If you dive, then you go extra far as well. You're supposed to then angle yourself here. You just make it, you just make it up here. Ah, ah, ah. I could have sworn there was a thing where you just sidestep into this. And it down warps you 500 feet in the ocean. There we go! Hooray! We're drowning? Yep. That's just how that is, I guess. Can we see Pianta Village now? Maybe not. There's Rico Harbor, though. There's Delfino Plaza, though. I'm dying. I'm dying, Squirtle. Quick, Mario to the surface! <laughs> oh. So that's a thing. Also, in 3D All-Stars, you can actually, like, pretty queerly see a little cutscene in here. And I think that's really cool. As a kid, I never really thought about it as a little demo movie. I just wish it looped properly. Yeah! Whoo! Alright, let's, let's do Peter for real. I don't know if you heard that, but apparently I'm hungry. Yeah, the fact that they made it so that you can do- Whoa! The fact that they made it so you can do PD immediately is really cool. I think everyone is a big fan of that one. Alright, where is he? You're such a bit. Well, it's not optimal, but it's something. You know, they pulsate, dude. It's weird. I wonder. Nope. Whoa, I almost clipped into the windmill. There's this cool thing that speedrunners do called windmill wall kicks, and I suck at it. I 
just wait a bit. You'll be fine. That's a lot cooler than riding the fucking windmill. Oh, Petey, you idiot. Well, was, was Flood okay there? Yeah, the, the funny thing about Petey is uh, you can just get him to vomit immediately by standing at the side of him. I never get the PD fast kill. Like, not even necessary, but whatever. Wait, don't I have to do this three times? No, okay, we're good. Alright, where's the shine spawn again? Uh, maybe like around here? Ah! Pianta there? It didn't look like it. Where's the Pianta? Is, the, is there like a Pianta that runs on the pier that does it? Just runs into the goop? No? I, I just want to see him. He's funny. Anyway, there's nothing really interesting that goes on for the next few missions, I think. Uh, I don't know. Well, the funny thing about this game is that I think that this and the other secret in Bianco Hills are, like, the actual hardest missions in the game. And I think that the, they are the reason why no one likes, or people don't like Sunshine. Because, you know, people, I feel like some people don't like Sunshine because it's, uh, it's hard, you know? And they just throw these two levels at you immediately. Okay, this is not, this is not the level where you, you do that. Where you say the line that I want you to say. Uh, I don't think I did decide what my favorite level is, unfortunately. Woo! We'll, we'll see at the end of this. Ah, bitch! What am I doing wrong? Oh. This part. I hate this part. No one likes this part. Ooh, it's scary. Ooh. 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 Nice bumper spin jump, dude. Yeah, this is the hillside secret. I hate I hate this level. And I hate the fucking secret of the poison lake. I hate them. There we go. Jeez. I don't know what you're supposed to do after that, but that's a, it's a thing, all right. I hate this fucking level, dude. <laughs> oh, God. It's like, in the speedrun, it seems super automated, so... You know, just Once I figure out how to do that, this level's fucking... 
post. But Kevin, I don't even, I don't even know how it's brown. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I didn't read the top ones. Yeah. Just a whole five hour stream of John trying to do the hillside cave secret. Anyway, I think this level is really cool because all the coins are just in a line. A complex line, so it's not a line, but they're basically in a line. It's just a very obvious route that you get them in. <laughs> Actually, I think what you're supposed to do is, uh... Can we start this over? You're supposed to slide up here and then get here. Alright, so let's, let's see if I can... <laughs> there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that didn't work. Please, that's what I get for trying to be cool. Yeah, you get this one, and then you get this one, and then you get this one, and that one's just right there. And then once you know it, you just... Oh, I missed it. Just get that one. That I always used to miss that one as a kid, and then, you know, speedrunners do some cool shit that I will not do here because I missed it, yeah. And then you, like, you, uh, do a spin jump from there, but whatever. Yeah, dude, you know, maybe the ground pound wasn't a good idea when you stall in the air! Whatever. <laughs> what? Fucking whatever. Whatever. Also, this lady is a chuckster as well. She's a chuckster, I don't know why. But she's a chuckster. <laughs> Cooking stream. The fastest way to do ropes is this. Nope, not that. Except you don't want to overshoot the shine, which people do a lot. I don't know what any of those things are other than pork. I guess cabbage. Cabbage, gross! Gross! I just want to change my posture controller. Calm down. Yeah, but not those. Not those game me. I already lied earlier on the stream anyway. My thumb, my thumb is gonna hurt from doing all these jump dives. God damn it, every time. I just, I just wanna be cool. Oh wait, I think you're... I think I was supposed to do the thing where you go up there as well. So, up here. I think I was supposed to do last time, but didn't. This is one of my nozzles. The... Oh! You can't use this yet. Get out of here, peasant. Alright, so can... I feel like they made it so you can't reach Petey without the rocket nozzle. I don't think you can wall jump off of this wall. Yeah, they they don't like that. But you can just hear Petey snoring. Alright. Can I water slide off of here? Seriously? Man. Alright. Wow, that's weird. Yeah. 
God damn it! Come on, man. I'm gonna have no water for the actual boss fight, which is, you know, very important to have. There we go, with water to spare. He doesn't interact. He has to be hit with a point. You know what would be a good, uh, a good thing? Mario falling asleep here. I don't know if PD counts as a wall, though. Mario won't fall asleep if there's a wall near him. <laughs> like, the inhale sound is so good. And there's there's nothing back there. It just it like it goes for a bit and then ends. Nothing interesting. I think I'm too I think I'm too close to a wall. Look, there's Petey's belly button. Look at that. You can you can notice the belly button like sticking out. That I'm surprised they had that amount of detail. Here we go. I wait for him to sweep on his side. I know I'm on a time limit, but I want this. <laughs> also, did you see the animation where Mario adjusts his belt? He'll do that even when he doesn't have flood. He's like, what are you adjusting, dude? Mario sleeps on his side. I know it. You know me, I never idle in video games, so I haven't done it in a while. <laughs> Perfect. I want to get the Z's. That should be fine. Alright. Uh, now I can't get back, though, I'm pretty sure. So, that's kind of a problem. Oh, shit, and I'm gonna game over. <laughs> well, so is it me, or does Petey's head look very egg-like from this angle? It looks fine here, I guess because of the lips, but then when you remove the lips, it just... Egg. Oh, look at the, look at the ground there. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Style! Alright, so this fight is entirely RNG, if you didn't know. Where PD stops is RNG. And that's why no one likes it. Yeah. While, while PD's coming down here, I'm gonna kind of, like, spray everything. And then, you can spray that. You get a 1-up. Which fills your water back up. Nice! Peter, he's over there already. Who would have thought? I'm slow. Hey. Oh, Jesus Christ. Good job, Mario, for tanking it out somehow. I thought he was gonna turn, but he just started vomiting anyway. Alright, that. That works as well, what the heck? I don't know all the points where he stops. Come on. Okay, that worked. PD's hitbox is surprisingly big, I guess. I'll do this. I guess P doesn't turn here. Don't yet me. Okay. It's funny, you're supposed to use these guys as a little tutorial for how to beat Petey. I never thought of that before because I never interact with them. 
Petey's gonna, Petey's gonna do the slow thing where he goes all the way around to see. No! He turned on a fucking dime! Where are you going, dude? Mm -hmm. I love that sound. Here again? This is why no one likes this fight. Oh, son of a bitch. Woo, okay, I guess that's a thing. This point is as full as it can get. This is annoying, for sure. For sure. Fuck off. Go oh, get off of me! I'm not trying the spam spray. Maybe I should. Mm-hmm. What do you want me to do? Fucking points! Please, Peter. Please, Peter. No, no, no. He's gonna fly again somehow. What an annoying section area. Being a casual player, you probably think that you need to use those points and they're only there. You, like, you have to use those guys. Come on. Don't, don't give me that. Petey does that. Petey makes tornadoes for his uh, animation in Mario Tennis Aces, but I think that's the it's like the only time, maybe. Uh, okay. Game did not like that. Fine, only spawns like somewhere over here. I don't know. I don't know specifically. I'm probably not even close. Oh shit! Surprisingly close. Nice. All right, I don't. I don't want to do Bianco six. I don't want to do Bianco six. I don't know where that one Bianca is. He's gone. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't reading chat, my bad. <sighs> yeah, it shows up on the actual game as well. I don't know, it works. It's, it's functional. So, uh, you know, there's an intended way of doing this, which is using the lily pads that deteriorate to traverse yourself all the way to the cave. Or you could just do it the way everyone does it. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. There's something I want to point out here. <laughs> what was that? Maybe I should stop trying to hover slide. How does this purify this water? There's nothing here. Like, that's poison. This isn't. You can see the line that divides them, too. Come on. There's the line right there. Doesn't make any sense. I only thought of that like recently. I think when Gavin was streaming it. Is that water skater still there? I guess you could use that guy if you wanted to. Part of me wants to do the Nintendo way, but whatever. And then the cool way to do it. You can get the turbo nozzle if you want, because he takes away the nozzle anyway, but we're not doing that. Fuck that. Mm. Alright. Are you ready for me to suck? Fucking... <laughs> Just take the biggest... Whoa. Biggest, uh... The widest circle you can get. Let's do it. The intended way. The intended way. Yeah, 
Yeah, ground pounding stops your momentum and uh, gives you more gives you more traction when you're still getting up from it. So we're actually going to get off of this immediately. Come on. It's interesting that it doesn't do that because there's something stupid I want to show. There it goes. And Mario's hair could look better. Can we see his weird eye thing? The camera's not close enough. But it's coming back down! Mario, you can see Mario's eye texture go on his nose. Kind of like how Octoling boys, or at least... Okay, Mario. Uh, eyes go in their cheeks. Anyway, look. Blue, yellow, orange, green. <laughs> blue, orange, orange, blue. It doesn't... It doesn't spin in a consistent way. So then you just have... Okay. That's why you side flip. It's a cube in a game. But yeah, in the in the pre-release, not the pre-release. Maybe a bit too much pepper on that one. Like I said, I hate ah oh, I hate this shine, so I'm a baby. <laughs> but I wanted to take that risk at least. You can also do that out of a spin jump, and that goes a lot farther. But the side flips are more consistent for me, obviously. But the spin jump one goes so far. It's weird. I couldn't move for a while there. Except, I suck at it. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to hear the spin sound. It's too slow. Uh, right. Shadow Marty. Now, I'm probably not going to do this correctly, but you know how you're supposed to stand away from him to just shoot water on him constantly? Here, because he's farther down on a slope, you stand farther away from him, okay? I'm pretty sure you can just quick kill him right there with a spam spray. <laughs> so easy. <laughs> oh, love it. I don't know where that Piante is. It's weirding me out. Cause like, he, he, like, he's supposed to be in the ground, right? So you can see him under the pier, cause it's not full ground, and he's just standing there, motionless, dark, and it's scary. I, you know what? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to start Bianco, apparently. Whoop! <laughs> Alright, I think this is when the lady says the line. This may be a bit sudden, but listen, and listen good. Let's say you find yourself hanging from a rope. It's the, she's talking about the super world jump, obviously, though. If you don't call it the super world jump, fuck you. Alright, so, there's a funny, there's a funny little thing here. It's 
kind of rocket storage. Just build up like... Let's, let's do like six. Six rockets here. Normally I tell people to do four, but there's something else I want to show with it. I like how Mario, like, gets unsettled and then just starts charging immediately. So, you know, just charge up however many you want. Three or four, or the entire tank. And then, just wait for this wind spirit to hit you. That's a that's a problem. <laughs> so yeah. Mario's just broken. I love it so much. It's so weird. He's like, he's sitting so much pain, look at his eyes. And then you just Mario Cam to get out. But because I used the whole tank. We should hopefully be running into yet another one. And maybe another one after that. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't like that. Hey, nice horizon though, right? Really, really nothing around here. A completely isolated island. I'm not touching the camera, by the way. This is, it's doing this by itself. There he is, Mario's stuck again. Can we see Bianco yet? No? Nope. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to show that off. Hmm, I, I can't, I can't ground pound. <laughs> I thought I could ground pound. I think it's faster to... Can't pause and exit the level. Hey, there's the actual skybox, I think. Do you see it? There's definitely a divide. Like, why is all why is all of this space up here? It's so weird. Video games. Look, that's not the skybox. That's the ocean. All right. Maybe maybe I should uh, cancel to the switch menu. You know what I wish in in Smash when Flood was finished fully charging, he would go Mario. But now, no life can be breathed into this robot. Still can't do this. Here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna quit to the Switch menu and see if we can see the Bowser Jr. render. While we're here, it boots up really quick because it's just loading the menu. No, not Mario 64. Yeah, Puma released a sweatshirt that was Mario Sunshine themed and had the logo and everything. But, uh. Oh, they're frozen there, there. But just had generic ass paint splotches. Like, what are you doing? Okay, I guess I shouldn't even do this shine anyway. But I do want to show off rocket storage there. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sunglasses guy reminded me. I think you need a pair of my special sunshades. Maybe you're not ready. You need 30 shines. Yeah. Damn it. Sunglass <laughs> the sunglasses don't reflect in the water. Maybe I'll show it off anyway at some point, but... Oh, where am I going? Right, 
not gonna do as many. Let's see if Mario breaks. Because after four of those on the rope, he'll fall, and then maybe in like a few seconds he'll break. But oh yeah, you can see the top of the volcano. It had a little, had a little snaz on it. Yeah, I don't think he breaks. Hey, that there, there you go. The thing just ends right over there. How about that? Oh, you know what? Uh, you can't see Pianta Village. Here. Let's I want to see, I want to see Pianta Village. Because it should be right up there. Opposite Hina and everything, so. Oh, what? I'm gonna get too late now because I'm thinking about it. Too late because I'm thinking, or too early because I'm thinking about it. All right. Woo! It's not there. Pianta Village is nowhere. Can't see Noki either. I'm pretty sure. Oh, how that island over there is always loaded, but not the not the other island. Yeah, no, we don't, we don't have sunglasses yet. We we skimped out on Serena a bit, which is fine. Uh, I wish I had the sunglasses though. Fucking water skater bastard. All right, let's do let's do the funny thing that I I always love uh, people seeing because it's just so funny. What has to be activated in spam spray? I guess the thing I was talking about earlier. Maybe if you trap this guy in goop. Hold on. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> the gatekeepers make that sound when they go in. I keep calling them gatekeepers. Their official name is Proto Piranha, but... The original strategy guide called them gatekeepers, so... They were only called Proto Piranhas in, uh... Mario Golf Toastal Tour. On the leaderboards, which, you know, came after this. Whoa, he did a 180 on me. Alright, come on, dude. <laughs> there he is. It's kind of scary in a way, isn't it? Whoa, did you see that? That was scary. I'm just... I'm just, I'm just... I thought you could see the flattened thing. Kinda of screwed myself with that, huh? We're, do we're doing it. <laughs> Carl struggled with this forever. 
And I'm like, hey, Carl, you should try this, 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 this. And he's like, no. I'm like, this is, this is why, this is why it's taking forever. <laughs> this is why it's taking you forever, because you aren't following my advice. All right. This is used in speedruns because it saves a few seconds, but I like it because it's funny. Come on, man. Give me the spam spray. Hopefully Swoop and Stews won't fucking bother me. Dude, I'm right in the back of the head. <laughs> fucking yellow toad, dude. The fucking yellow toad, dude. See, that's the thing, I've, tr I've tried that, uh, for five additional hours <laughs> after that stream. Because Carl wanted to get the 100 coin shine, because, like, you can get 100 coins in Delfino before saving Peach. So, you know, that would be another shine to get before saving her, but the shine spawns on the tiny little thing uh, out in the distance. And you can use the manhole cover to go really far, but... I still haven't gotten close enough. I tried timing it, like, if you, like, you know, the shine spawns there. If you, uh, so you go, like, wait, hold on, hold on, that was bad. I lost grip of my controller here. Okay, come on. Carl actually made it onto the platform, and then he did a rollout off of it. So I think, I'm pretty sure it's possible. He just shouldn't have done the rollout. Three. Yeah, you can get really close, but uh, it's difficult. I, like because he made it though, which should win clip of 2020. By the way, probably not, but he made it. I was like, hey, can you like? post clips for what you think is the best clip of my stream uh, this year, and I'm like, I'm not gonna post any of the Sunshine ones I did because I'm pretty sure everyone fucking hated those streams except for me. Then we go just like kind of backwards, you know? I actually hate myself. <laughs> I actually hate myself. I can't believe I did that again. I, d I didn't think this was going to be this hard because every time I've done it off stream, I've I did it first try. So it's funny how crusty Mario 64 looks in that scene. Coin game is such a good game, you just go to the arcade. Oh. Actually, maybe we can see Mario try to adjust his belt here. But yeah, you, just, you go to the arcade and then every streamer wants to beat every single arcade game and that's like 100%ing the game. Or like perfect it, and I think it's really funny. I'm still- I'm still sad that Carl didn't at least try Honey Skip a little. Oh, but the- There he is! Oh, he's adjusting about that isn't there! Everyone's just like... 
I mean, that that's the... That, actually, now that I think about it, that's kind of the thing that was like... The... It's like, no, no one wants to keep watching these. These tricks. So, like, fine. I'm, I'll do my own stream. Excuse me, how? <laughs> how did you do that? Please don't make a puddle here, you son of a bitch. Come on. Okay, that hits. So hard for me now. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I wish I wasn't on a time limit. Fucking. The toads, dude. You know what? And I was like, Carl, practice it. And he's like, no. Yeah, ground pound, dude. You see, it's it's that easy, except you just slide your toad. I don't even have to do this. Eh, maybe I should. Well, doesn't go too far otherwise. Yes, just disappear on my face. The most annoying enemy of all time, the swoop and stew. Fucking... Okay, fine. Get away from me, dude. Dude, what? Okay. Wasn't high enough. I'm actually kind of angry now. Not angry, I'm just like, come on. I only have an hour before my dad's gonna start calling me, being like, where the, f where the fuck are you? There's a monkey in the fucking camera. Christmas dinner is actively ruining Christmas. Again. the Pianto lady back there. You gotta be- <laughs> he didn't even hit me! Okay. <laughs> I tried to change the camera behind me, and it didn't do it. That's what that weird pause was. You'll, you'll, you'll find out. 
Because I'm doing it. This isn't one of those things where it's like, you get the idea. You get the idea, but that's not the point. Also, we haven't gotten the stupid Bowser Jr. one yet. I hate that render. I swear to God, this isn't hard. Man, you have to be kidding me. I guess I didn't wait long enough. Uh, no idea, dude. That's what I want to do, so... Just do it the way you've always been doing it. <laughs> Hello? Why was that spam spray so low? Fucking bitch. Fucking yellow toad son of a bitch. <sighs> We're not even gonna make it to Rico Harbor. There it is. Look at the stupid evil EGAD logo. Just go get it. I can't take a screenshot. That wasn't- that's not on the brush. That's not on the brush in this game. That's not a thing anywhere. They just decided, hey, let's put an evil EGAD logo on the brush. Which, why would EGAD do that? Now Bowser Jr. customized it himself. If he customized it, why wouldn't he get rid of EGAD's face anyway? Yeah, like, even worse, he's yelling. And he is an a la gold from New Super Mario Bros. Like, at least a la gold has a name. Please just work. I should, just, I should just do the ground pound method. I should just do the ground pound method. <laughs> just, just do the ground pound method. The hover method, whatever. Because the idea is, like, the portals have an amount of time where you have to be in front of them before they take. So the idea is you hover so that you're always within the zone where it will pull you in the moment it can pull you in. But obviously, I suck at that. So, you know, ground pound suspends you in the air, stops your momentum. It's more consistent. We'll just try that. It's just not as... It's just, you know, you could mistime it. This is Sunshine. It's personal. Honestly, I'm surprised Nintendo cares about Sunshine enough to put it in the pack. If I was told that Nintendo is making, reporting three 3D Mario games to the Switch, I would have thought Super Mario 64, Super Mario Galaxy, and Super Mario Galaxy 2. That's it. Okay. Roll out, roll out earlier. Roll out earlier. Roll out earlier. Just do the roll out earlier. At the, at the green toad. How about that? Or something. I don't know. That's my problem. Roll out in a water slide. It sends you pretty far. 
I almost accidentally entered Mario 64. Like, oh my god, who would want to do that? Doom. I want to do it so fast that you don't hear the doom. This is gonna have to be a two-part stream, which I hate. I would, I wouldn't even have dinner. I would, I would do it all if I could have my way. I would just play the game until twelve if I had to. Well, that's yeah, cool. I'd, I'd do this until twelve. Problem is, I, have to, I think my big problem is I have to turn, then change the camera, and while I'm changing the camera, get my finger off the stick. Okay, well. <laughs> just, just, whoa. Practice it, Chris. Just. Practice it. Just practice it. That's what you told Carl, and you're not doing it, and now we're here for like 30 minutes. We'd be done Rico by now. I mean, in a, in a way, we'd be done Gelato by now. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> what was that? Gelato, like, I, I worry about Gelato Skip, dude. I haven't done that in forever. I think a lot of the time that it takes for people to do, do Gelato Skip is, like, you know, learning how it's done. I already know how it's done, so... I already know what the requirements are. It's a matter of doing it. Also, I didn't fucking practice. I still can, but... Oh, we're already here! I guess I wasn't high enough, still too slow. That should have gotten me in, dude. I love Delfino Airstrip, it's such a good song. Oh, there's a thing I forgot to show off at the airstrip. Oh well. Doom. Alright. It's like... It's dark now, right? You can't enter it? Now you can enter it. That's the, that's the thing here. It's that part I have to get. Maybe I can... Maybe I can hover slide? This flood will already be proc, so that's gotta be faster, right? That, you know what? You know what? That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be the problem. That's gotta be why I could get it so easily before and I can't get it now. Because I've been tricking myself into thinking that I can't hover slide. Whoa, that, did you see how wide the burst on that spam spray was? Jesus Christ. Mario. We'll get him down there. Good enough. 
I overshot it again. I have to... Maybe I should figure out how... Where to do the rollout. But, like... I, even though I kind of fucked it up, I thought I was gonna bonk on the... Cabana thing. Like... Ah... Uh, this... You know, I'll, I, I can just say this isn't that hard. All I want is to just be like, Yeah, dude, you're repeating yourself. <laughs> I've never done that before. That's so funny. Actually, here's a here's an interesting little factoid to break this up a bit. This room right here. Look, you can see it's a room. Most windows aren't actually rooms. Was this intended for something? Who knows? It's not like a hat in time where, like, windows have fake depth to them. It's just a texture with fake depth. That's an actual room. Weird, huh? Alright. Just pretend that I get this part, right? Whoops, 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 whoops. <laughs> Actually, that probably would have worked. <laughs> That probably would have been fine. I guess before Green Toad. We're here again. Do I have 30 shines? Probably not, because nothing has changed. I haven't actually done anything since coming here. I guess you could, like, do this if you want. And be like, yeah, that's 22. That's a, that's a number, all right. Okay, well... You don't have to hover. <laughs> it's just I want to hover. Okay, you don't want to do that. That's what happens whenever I try to hover slide. You don't want to do that. Move, you motherfucker. So, like, I guess before the little target. If I let go of the stick, will Mario not do that run? Okay. <laughs> that was probably the problem. I was still holding forward as well. Hey TFP, how's it going? I'm trying to do the trick that Carl spent five years on that I thought was going to take me one try. Hooray. Luck. This is in luck. This is all skill, baby. If only the same could be said about the Sunshine speedrun. Christmas PlayStation games. Well, what? What? What was that? All sunshine streams devolve into this, including mine. <laughs> I want to get it so that you don't hear the doom. We get no music whatsoever. I mean, it's kind of nice that I, uh, I got the camera figured out. Every time with these motherfuckers. Guys do the same trick. And here I was like, I got the camera.
Yoshi Cloud. Oh my god. It's gonna it's gonna get bored and go away. Did I ground pound? How? How did I ground pound? Love that song. I just want to get to Rico. There's a lot of stuff in Rico. And I'm not using practice code, so I can't just go to Rico and then load the game here. I guess I could copy my save. If I really wanted to. Which I forgot that was even a feature. And then the box turned scary. Fucking... Apparently I have to... Figure this out. R, Y, down, this, this, this. Ry down L. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not that doesn't make it easier, that makes it harder. It makes it harder for me to think about it. I I don't think I've ever heard of that game before. I'm kind of curious. Can we see inside here? No, it's like an invisible wall. Can't get too close. I wanted to see if the building was in there, but it doesn't look like it. Hey! Get back here! Yeah, don't get your keyboard all screwed up. <laughs> Minor adjustments. Mm, fucking good thing I missed, because I clearly wasn't prepared. I... Did I do it with a hover slide before? I don't know. Fucking toads, go away. Go away. I thought that the yellow toad was gonna be in the way, if I'm being honest. Hey, it's kinda funny that like all the Mario renders and stuff have green Yoshi even though he's never green. He's only green when he's dying. That's, that's a new one. Yeah. Scary, scary block. Maybe I just have to chill out. Maybe my problem is I tense up every time it's showtime. I'm surprised that wasn't enough time to hurt me. Okay. Can't, I couldn't control my camera under there. Don't hold forward on that one. 
I'm sorry for this part of the stream. Carl's gonna feel extra validated, though. That's for sure. There it is, the evil brush again. Stupid. Like, we don't know how he got the magic brush. We don't know if Egad gave it to him. Because he couldn't... He couldn't have thought it was Mario, because Bowser Jr., I'm pretty sure, uses the brush to turn into Shadow Mario. He can't turn into Shadow Mario before getting the brush. So, I think that's out. I think he just stole it. No, but he's a, a strange old man in a white coat gave it to me. Right, so, like... What's the deal? Maybe he maybe he can turn into Shadow Mario without the brush. We don't know for sure. I just figured, you know. He becomes all goopy and stuff, and the goop comes from the brush. Only makes sense. Just... Sorry if this looks bad to the viewers. Oh, but the implication is that Egad gave it to Bowser Jr., not Bowser. Unless Bowser was also there, and he's like, Hey, son, there's this inventor that wants to give this to you for some reason. A strange old man time traveled to give it to me. Hey, <laughs> fucking Egad. He has so many genetic experiments on the Mario Brothers. It's kind of weird. And he can time travel. So. And yet he can't get into Mario Kart. Which I just, I just don't understand. I guess that's like, well, King Boo, this is the Luigi's Mansion rap. Don't, aren't you happy enough? No. You have to, Chris, you have to hold forward. You know what? <laughs> I was gonna say, you know what, let's just do it there, but it's easier to do it like this. No, no, Bowser Jr. is not smart enough for that. I mean, maybe. Do you think when the writers uh, wrote it? Well, no, because then they would have put quotation marks, and then Bowser Jr. just didn't go, like, um... Please. Sneeze. But yeah, Bowser Jr. was like, uh... I think he should have gone, A strange old man in a white coat gave it to me! Obviously, I'm saying it with the same fucking cadence as the other thing. I think I, I have to hold it for longer. Like... If only I could, like, just spam, spray him from behind. <laughs> maybe I can. Maybe I can. Of all the impractical ways to do it. I was hoping that the spam spray would just go crazy enough to reach that. It looks like it reaches, doesn't it? 
If only. I mean, honestly, I probably... If I, like, can hit it closer, I probably save more time not exiting, uh, Mario Camp. Alright, no, 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 come back. <laughs> you can see me trying, you bastard. doing that. I keep not... I just... It's not It's not even going to be worth it anymore, obviously. <laughs> but this is for preservation's sake. I have all my stupid nerd facts fresh in my mind from thinking about them for like two hours last night when I was supposed to be unconscious. Speaking of EGAD, I thought it would have been cool if instead of Flood being just there, the idea was he caught wind of their problem and maybe even knew that he was probably responsible in some way. So he made Flood and then gave it to the Piantas so that they could help clean up the goop. And then the Piantas gave it to Mario and said, all right, you're going to use this to clean the place instead of Mario just finding it. I think that would have been cool. There's another narrative preference I have, but that's a while away. I think my problem is I'm trying to go too fast. I'm like, I don't have enough time. When in reality, I have plenty of time. Take take half a second to stand there and think about what you have to do next or something. I don't know. This is this is why I worry when it comes to trying speed runs. It's also kind of similar in Smash, where it's like. I want to go edge guard that guy right now. I'm going to run off and throw out an attack immediately. When in reality, you should probably wait a second. Otherwise, they just like hit you with their recovery. It's like, oh, okay. I don't even know what Carnosaur 2 is. I mean, I'm, uncult I'm uncultured when it comes to movies, but like... At least I've heard of a lot of them. If the toad was not here, well, then I'd probably be too far away from the portal. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I was just... I was just talking. The reflection of Yoshi's tail. At least we're getting good looks at these renders. What kind of sucks is that they don't have my favorite renders here. The, sp the Mario spin jump render? Like, seriously, just Google Mario Sunshine spin jump render. And like, the dive render. I love those ones, especially the dive render. Mario looks like he's a man on a mission. Maybe I should be, like, here. 
Is this a better angle with which to launch myself? I feel like it's not. Oh, it's definitely not. How does it even make any sense? This is gonna be like Honey Skip, where I try it for five hours and then give up. Except I've done this before, multiple times before. I've never done Honey Skip. I've gotten close. <laughs> like, you get to the point where you sidestep, but I don't know if I'm doing that wrong or not. I mean, I have to be. Die. Now, now I'm really scared for gelato skip. I was like, Chris, you'll do gelato skip just fine. Please just go to bed. <laughs> Please fall asleep and stop worrying about it. slide not work you know what maybe I should stop trying to do the fucking hover slide they go back to the spray it's not much slower there it is these weird stubby toes the goop that if they made a remake like an actual remake of this game instead of a port they would Probably make the goop actually look like that in the renders. I mean, obviously, I still think the goop looks fine. Are people fucking posting in that goddamn Steve chat again? It's teeny toes. Look at the goop. It's not consistent, but... Oh, okay, I guess I, guess I got it. Whoops. If I... <laughs> I didn't think I got it. I think I, I would have got, I, you know, I would have gotten it. I'm almost certain I would have gotten that if I fucking didn't wait. I, I thought I didn't get it. I was going to have to turn around and I heard it. I'm like, oh my, we might as well try. Yep. That's not what, that, like, that's exactly the opposite of what I wanted for the stream. Maybe like 15 minutes on a skip maximum. This is like an hour of just this. I don't even know how many seconds this saves in a speedrun. Probably 10 seconds like Honey Skip. I just like it because it looks... I do like that sound it makes where it's like... Too slow. 
There we go. Fuck it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> The game just has an aneurysm. I don't even know what it's zooming in on. It just has a problem. Yeah, no, I was just uh, trying to reinvent the wheel like five times there. Really, the only problem was in the beginning, I was diving too late and holding on to the stick. All right, here we go. Let's do Rico. Have some Rico fun and then spend 15 minutes trying to find this stupid- Wait, wait, wait! You can enter here from down here. I hear you. There we go. <laughs> Mario's legs were all weird there, if you saw. Alright, so, we're gonna want to go let Goober Bloober out of this thing. Oh, I could've... I could've sworn this was open. I'm gonna be honest, I doubted it. I'm just like, I thought that, I thought that's what speedruns did. I don't remember speedruns doing what I always do. Oops. Actually, you don't want to be here. <laughs> did, you see, did you see that? Mario takes a while to adjust. If you spin jump into a grate. Whoops, fine. <laughs> Love that. Fucking clip it. I'm like, I don't want to clip every single skip that I do. But maybe, I don't know, maybe I should. What a baby spin jump. Yee oh, man. Ah! You ruined me! Yeah, I like that. Goober Blooper just poisoned the water supply and they were just like, fuck you. Well, I mean, he was probably in crates because they fished him out and then he just poisoned the water supply. But maybe they were like, fuck you. Anyway, there's Goober Blooper, but we're not going to fight him yet. Stupid trivia, stupid trivia, stupid trivia. That's for Griffin thinking I lied to him about how uh, you can't water slide into bloopers. All right, here we go. So there's a barrel. For, for some reason, once you free Gooper Blooper, I don't know if it happens after you beat him, but for some reason, there is an invisible barrel around here. The thing is, it doesn't have collision on the side, so you can only jump on it. The thing is, I don't... There it is! That was fast. So the things I don't remember specifically where it is, just like kind of across from the grate. There's just an invisible barrel here. See? Not there. I don't know where to go. There it is. <laughs> you not. There we go, okay. So, one thing I thought was really cool that apparently people don't know is. Yeah, they fished the bloopers here. Actually, like, the intended way is to, uh, do a whole bunch of shit. Obviously, you can just not do that. Like, you know, you're supposed to go over here and, you know, climb all that and then get the yellow submarine. And then there's these little blooper boys. I feel like people don't even remember these guys exist. And when you spray them, they turn into platforms. <laughs> It's just weird, because, yeah, there are more of them over there, and that's how you're supposed to get across. And no one remembers them. I don't even know their names. And I know, like, fucking Pongellos, for Christ's sake. Oops. You ground pound, does it break the barrel? 
I doubt it, but let's find out. No, the fucking buffered spin jump. Where was it? <laughs> Guys, does anyone remember where it was? Like, what, what floor panel it was on? I didn't really commit that to memory. How far back it was, maybe. There it is. Nope. Oh! Did you hear the water? So I guess the water inside it is invisible too. How about that? Didn't mean- that was supposed to be a side flip, not a tiny spin jump. Man. Man. Yeah, that might present a problem. I didn't want to actually hit your thing, you son of a bitch. And you just let go when his eyes turn purple. The thing that we can't see, because the cork breaks, is... It has, a, it has a lettering on it that alludes to this thing's Japanese name. I don't remember what Google's Japanese name is, though. Unfortunately. I just know that the cork does that. Which is kind of weird. Did they, like, custom make a cork to cover him, or what? I'm the only person who struggles this hard at this fight. That has, you know, played the game before. <laughs> I'm tilted! I'm tilted after the, the shit. I wish that the platform bloopers came back, because they're actually very cute, and their design is very good, and they shouldn't have been abandoned. They're fucking normal-ass bloopers. Actually, modern bloopers are kind of cute, too. Boss well, guess so. That makes sense. Uh, boss squid. <laughs> wow. All kinds of creative, sort, creative sorts. Open salami. Alright. Are you ready for me to mess this up somehow? It's Lucky? What do you mean? Two lazy villagers? Oh, Lucky the villager. So you can do this blooper list. Like, if you take... That's what I was thinking of. Now you can take the, uh... Now you can take the sewer to over there and then just hover into the loading zone that we're gonna go to. Blooper list. That's faster, but I want to do this. Look, it's the Big Daddy Blooper Surfing. There he is! That's right. He is... One of the best characters in the game. And then, <laughs> Hold on. That guy on the pier? He's the Big Daddy Blooper Surfing. That's nothing to sneeze at, I'll tell you that much. Me? No, I do not ride bloopers. No, thank you. You know, there's some odd folks out there. Taming little boobers is bizarre enough, but riding on their backs? I'll tell you, some folks are just plain loony. There's so much good dialogue in this game, and at some point I want to do a stream where I just read all the dialogue, but that's not this stream. Uh, but yeah, little fact about the boobers. This is supposed to be the slowest with the best handling. This is supposed to be the fastest with the worst handling. And this is, you know, in between the road. But the funny thing is, uh, if you hold forward, they all have the same top speed. So, this is just, just as fast as the other one, but with a better handle. So, always pick the green blooper. Alright, is Mario gonna do the weird thing where he turns around? Yeah, but he almost did it right there. Wahoo! And then, you know, blooperless still applies to this. But first, actually, now I think about it. Look at that! This area is inside one of the sub areas with the train tracks. Can't see. You can see the blue train track right there. That's kind of cool. Also, uh, so it was Corona Mountain, <laughs> which is kind of weird, right? All right, 
right, so this race only really needs two triggers. There's one at the end of the hairpin turn there, and there's one at that corner there. So we're gonna we're gonna try this. Historically, I've not been the best at this. Whoop! Not at all. And in many ways, slower than just doing it with a blooper. It's faster without a blooper, though, if you're good. I'm not good, so. He's probably gonna say, go back to the fucking kitty pool, you bitch. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't hit the fucking triggers properly. God damn it. I hope the bloopers are gone. Isn't that funny? You know, Gavin, that's poetic in a way. <laughs> yeah, uh, obviously he's gonna tell me to go back to the kiddie pool, but... I don't know what trigger I didn't hit. I think you're just supposed to go here. Uh, obviously, I don't know how to do it fast. But I can show I can show you how to do it with bloopers. That's a lot easier. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm not. I haven't pra I haven't practiced this at all. I've tried multiple times, but uh, I've never actually straight up practiced it. So it's not even a successful. Da -da 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 -da. Also, speaking of. I think it's really cool like you never really look at these underwater walls i think some of them over here are uh are blue and it looks especially cool is it more blue over here maybe not maybe i was just misremembering yeah <laughs> For some reason, whenever I try to do blooperless, I never hit both of the things. Like, it always takes me like three tries and it's pathetic and it makes me sad. He's... <laughs> he doesn't even start dancing until you cross the finish line. Pretty weak, bud! That time's not even worth talking about! Come back after you conquered the kiddie pool! Blue walls. Oh, yeah, yeah, probably in the intersection. I don't think... Did he kill me? I don't know if he killed me. Okay. Alright, let's, let's do it the opposite way, I guess. <laughs> okay. Wait, maybe not. Oh shit. No, we're good. Oh shit. <laughs> like, oh, wait, too late. Oh! I'm sorry, I started hovering way too early. I guess we'll try again. Go back to the kiddie pool. <laughs> Come back after you conquered the kiddie pool. What a dick. Okay. I feel like maybe water sliding like that isn't how it's done. Right, you. You can just dive under it, like. Oil floats on water. Obviously, you can't just swim under it, though. They have a. They have a fucking pachinko force field. I do love how Mario uh, makes tired sounds when he's low health. What I don't understand is why he doesn't start doing it at 3 health when it starts blinking at you. He only starts doing it at 2 health, which is just weird. I 
my god, you can just go through that. I'm probably gonna die here. That's fine. I feel like the idea is you, uh... Maybe the idea is you slide at, like, an angle like this. And then get the camera right. <laughs> yeah, I still think that that isn't even intentional. That is just like, ah, I'm not gonna fucking make his health work in water, just keep it. Fuck it. Give it one more shot. I'm taking this to my grave. I mean, if you want, you could just. Obviously, you wouldn't do it this slowly. <laughs> it's too fucking late! <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Now that I think about it, though, that force field pushing you back is probably why Mario's blooper sometimes starts steering in the opposite direction and then can steal you or steer you into the wall and kill you. Honestly, now that I... I'm assuming that's Animal Crossing. Now that I just got the memory, the snapshot, the dream of my toy day town and have some of the things, I'm just probably never going to play that game ever again. God, it's so bad. And I have like 200 hours in it, you know? Like, the, the, the concept of Animal Crossing is fun. New Horizons just pisses me off. So, and you know, the snowboy thing, make the, make the perfect snowboy, that didn't make it any better. That's for sure. So, all right, let's let's see if I can do it on a blooper. Because most people are like, oh, I, I have some tricks. I cut corners and stuff, but mm, I don't think that's enough. Yeah, you can just do this. <laughs> Yeah, that counts. How wasn't I hitting it before? Uh, that's a great fucking question. That's a- that's a great question. I don't know what- I thought it was in the corner of that land there, but maybe it's a bit farther out in the water. I mean, like, Animal Crossing, it was just one of those games where I kind of tricked myself into being like, I want all the clothes, even though it takes five years to order all the clothes, and they never updated the thing to get all the clothes. And then I'm like, I, I want all the furniture, if possible. Uh, and then it's like, well, for what? Self-satisfaction? I want to show it off to people. I'm fucking... I, how do speedrunners do it quickly, though, if they go in the water? I just don't get it. Like, if you have to extend out a bit... I don't know, I never watched speedruns that thoroughly, I guess. Like, I've never actually written down- other than, like, skips, you know, learning how to do skips. The- the minutia, as it were, of, uh- Whoa, did you see Mario? Did you see- he, did you hear him hit the wall? Well, like, the minutia of, uh, of, you know, level, levels without skips, I never really actually, like, properly thought about. Well, not thought about. Obviously, I think about it. I'm just like, I never actually invested time into learning it. Like Shadow Mario quick kills and stuff. Shit. <laughs> okay, you, you do have to go out. I guess we're getting this shine. Yeah, New Horizons, like, it has good, good progress, like, it progresses the series well, it's just it adds more problems, I feel, than were in the, the other games. 
more garbage to wade through. So this isn't the Animal Crossing negativity stream. This is the, I'm gonna hope we get the Cave Shine spread on the first try, please God, please. So yeah, you're supposed to just climb all the way up to the Cave Shine Sprite. We're not gonna fucking do that. Was it Gavin? It was Gavin's stream where he's like, but I like this shine, so I'm just gonna do it the intended way. And I'm like, fucking loser. Wait. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm kidding, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, so like optimally, you uh, you just do a spin jump from here and do it. But if you want, if you're like me and want to get it on the first try and haven't practiced it at all, I I did not I did not know about this. I did, I did not know about that. That's not a thing. But you just wait for the crane to go at the end. And then just run off and hover. And the nozzle will get you there. That's the guaranteed way to do it. Otherwise, you have to do a spin jump and gauge how far to fall before you start hovering. And it could be too high or too low. Anyway, press A to go up. And there we go. The cage shine's pretty easy. Alright, time for... One of the most famous Sunshine levels that took Luke, like, an hour to do. Oh shit, it's almost five. Ah! Yeah, I didn't even make it through Rigo Harbor. And this isn't even counting Serena, which, you know, I was planning to do. And then I'm like, oh, turns out uh, this Serena clip is a bit harder than I thought. And I'm like, well, really, it was Christmas dinner pressure. I would have fucking done it. So. Yeah, you like, you have to do a proper, like, buffered spin jump where you get the speed what I've been talking about for eons you can just do this too but where you have to uh, they want you get the fucking rocket nozzle stupid Nintendo but uh for you like if you take a step that's Mario doing his running speed so then when you do the buffered spin jump it it jumps higher you need to do it for the fast uh, that fast thing in Pianta 6, the Save the Piantas one, where you get over the wall that I was talking about, and you have to do it to reach that, I'm pretty sure. Alright, time for the funny wheels. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done the ground pound. That was a little too much stalling. This is the scariest part of the level for me. <laughs> it's like, why are you rotating sideways like that? And then Mario runs super fast on sloped surfaces after a rollout. Which you can do pretty consistently on roofs of, uh... The Pino Plaza. But it's kind of scary here when, you know, you're like, Oh, I'm right, I wasn't expecting that. To keep me that took Luke an hour, like what a fucking idiot am I right? <laughs> I was like You know, you're struggling with uh Bianco 3 and Bianco 6, the levels that I hate. And then uh you're struggling with this and I'm like, yeah, now I'm starting to see why new players don't like this game. It's hard. And even like as a kid, those I never really considered those levels that difficult. You know what I mean? Like those weren't what I would consider the hard levels as a kid. But like, if you're a new player, those are the hard levels, you know? You don't know to do your spin jumps and your ground pounds and everything. 
Didn't work for that guy, that's for sure. God damn it, I wanted to do the cool thing. I'm doing the cool thing. I'm doing the cool thing. Why, why did you not? Why are you invincible? Maybe that's what Griffin was complaining about when I'm like, you can water slide on bloopers. Not that one apparently, but I'm almost certain that you can. I'm almost, I'm like, well, I'm 99% certain that you can water slide in this one, but fuck it. Fuck it. Ah, oh, I was supposed to do like a, a double jump and then, you know, you spring on this. It's, it, never mind. Rest in peace, the cool thing. Wait, what am I, what am I doing? Mario, you must. You must find a way to fight it. Oh, that sucks. Stop having your tentacles so close to uh, me. Uh, Mario. It is really funny, though. <laughs> refight this boss. And then refight him again, unless you know the skip. I want to at least finish Rico Harbor. Then I guess we'll guess we'll do the rest tomorrow. That's mm, something at like for tomorrow. Anyway, you might be like, what? What's he doing? Mm -mm. God damn it! I want to unlock this because of Yoshi's Fruity Adventure. Okay, right, you unlock it in the cage shine sprite, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine, we'll go back and get the damn thing. It's a trick that's impractical, but I like it anyway, so... We'll do it. I, I, I do... It's like blue coins, you know? You can only unlock nozzles in certain missions in each world, not not all of them. I mean, maybe for blocking off the first one, or the first few, that's fine. But, like, you can't get it in Rico 8? It has to be Rico 3? Why? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's, a, it's only the one on this wall. I'm not getting blue coins, but you can ground pound this one to kill it. Harder to hit moving targets. So why are you so high up, you son of a bitch? I guess you can't be too close to the wall. Man. Okay, well. <laughs> I was gonna say I promise you could do it, but I wanna do it, even if I. Like, I never collect blue coins, so. Okay, fuck, fuck you. Fuck you and your blue coin ass. I swear, though, you can crush that thing. Go away, motherfucker! Oh. Weird we far apart. <laughs> oh, dude, come on! You're really gonna do that? Dude, you're really gonna do that? Maybe they did that because they don't want you wall jumping up here. I'm not even gonna risk it. Here it is, stupid flying rocket nozzle. 
Mac. Why does he say open salami? To this day, I still don't know. Red coins on the water, you know. Simple enough. This was one of the hard ones as a kid. Because, you know, troopers were kind of hard to control. And, oh, it's time to scary. And also, uh, getting the shine. They intentionally put six bloopers here. There's no other reason. <laughs> yeah, bloopy. Okay, let's make sure I got that right. Don't get on a blooper before uh, going. I love this song. The the little you know sound. That's whoa. That's a drum. It's called a kuika. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. And you rub the inside of it to make the sound, and it's all over Nintendo music. So if you didn't know that before, now you know. Anyway, speedruns never hold, let go of forward, but I'm a baby. This is like the line you're supposed to get them in. Basically. Which is funny, because this is like supposed to be the last one. Those, those don't have collision, by the way. Everyone always collects that one last, because that's what you're supposed to do. And, uh... Then they're like, oh shit, like the shine cutscene's playing, I'm gonna run into the boat! And they don't. Anyway, Griffin found this out during a stream, and I haven't seen anyone, uh, do it. <laughs> if you run into that guy, I think while he's moving towards you, is the only way it works, you can, you can dismount the blooper. I haven't seen that recorded anywhere. Griffin just did it, probably for the hell of it, and then discovered a new thing that makes this shine probably a little easier for people. So... I... Crazy. <laughs> it's like, I was blown away. I was like, what the hell? What? Because it played so many people. I was, oh no, a rat! Alright, so there's a quick kill where you can just kill Shadow Mario immediately before he even takes a step. I don't know how to do it, so this is going to be more annoying than usual. Fuck. I think you're, like, supposed to dive, and then when you reach him, you spam spray. Spam spray is not really the best thing to do, because only one flick of water gets him. But, uh... He's being annoying. It's pretty good. <laughs> Did you just force me off, you son of a bitch? And he just doesn't have collision. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, of course he was on his last hit. What a bastard. Okay, you, you don't roll or anything fancy like that, you just run up, yeah. That makes sense, because, like, the thing is, the ramp puts him directly in Flood's face. So, you know, you don't have to do any distance, like, in the other ones where you have to be a distance away, and then no distance away, you just do it, presumably. Speedrun is probably just spam spray, though. Let's try it. Yeah, no, you have to be a little faster than that. But what I did was I kept running. You probably just do a dive. And then he jumped, right? He does the thing like, oh shit, Mario's here! And then starts running, and then that's when you chase after him. Obviously, people have already figured this out, but I mean, hey, it'll only take, like, a minute to maybe try some stuff. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking ah! He goes crazy on the goddamn spam spray. Because he doesn't know how to do it. Like, a good person probably keeps it pressed down. Eh, maybe not. It's kind of hard. Anyway. Let's do Yoshi's Pretty Adventure without Yoshi. Or at least try to. And there's a technique that I haven't done consistently before, uh, that I guess I could try showing off, but don't expect anything, you know? No, <laughs> that doesn't make it. I wish it did. It'd be so smooth. Bastards. Oh, back bastard. So the idea is, you can't, like, if you dive, I was holding R there, you can't, uh, like, the game cancels a charge, but... probably isn't the best place to try it, but, so like, what, what, uh, what Sid does for this is he, he makes it from here to there using one, basically one movement. So you're supposed to, like, charge it up and then before it goes, like, do a dive. So, why, see while you're doing the rollout, it keeps charging again? Like it canceled, it canceled it immediately upon doing the dive. But once the uh, once the rollout started, it did it again. The idea is you you uh, get the charge up high enough that it doesn't go, it doesn't all go away when you dive, and uh, then you can do a, a silly thing that I pra I tried practicing in gelato and I'm more consistent there, but. Something like that! <laughs> Except I don't know how to get enough height to make it work. And you do multiple of those in a row to get up here. But, uh... Yeah, I, I love that. It's so funny. Alright. Whoops. Two should be enough. Cam, so you face there so that you can fall there. Please make it. God damn it, I guess we'll go for three, but I know for a fact that two is enough. I was really hoping to do it in two, because Luke did it in three, and I'm like, you can do it in two. Maybe the idea is to do it, like, here or something. I don't know. I won't try in two again. I wonder if I can just... Maybe... Maybe I'll just pull... I'm doing it again, by the way. Because I think I have a solution. Oh, I missed! I dive. I dove. Dived. I dived there. <laughs> Don't do it there, though. You're already at the base of the cliff. You know, the, the easier way to do it is three. But, you know, obviously because you spend longer falling, it's not as fast. But this isn't even a thing used in speedruns anyway, so it doesn't matter. I can't believe that worked. I let go of the album really, really uh, early there. Well, okay. Okay, 
Fine, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. You have to exit Mario Cam. <laughs> really? Okay. We'll just do three then. I'm kind of running out of time here and I'm gonna get an angry call. This is why I'm gonna move far away one day. Then you'll regret- wait, I only did two. Then you'll regret preventing me from finishing my stupid sunshine stream. Yeah, as you can see, this is way too much. You don't even have to enter Mario Cam to make it with us. I didn't know Mario could climb grates with fruit, honestly. What can't Super Mario do? Can you just put it in? Can you not... Can Mario not let go of the... Okay, he can. I was just like, did I like glitch him so that he can't let go of it? Maybe that's good enough? Maybe that's too close, actually. You don't even have to punch! Okay, I guess that just happened. I guess. <laughs> Fortunately, I think this is the end of the stream. Because... Actually, you know what? I want to. I want to check one more thing. We just did Rico Eight. In the intro cutscene, there used to be a falling Pianta, and you know, in four by three, you couldn't see him because he was cut off. But in widescreen, you could very, you could very easy, easily see him. But then, by the time Gavin played it, I think they cut him out. Let's keep an eye out. Yeah, no, they fixed it. There was a Pianta that I guess just spawns in the sky. And he falls. And, uh... You know. Whatever. Man, yeah, we are- we are not even- We are not even close. Really. We are not even close to the end. Of, uh... The game here. <laughs> we are- uh, yeah, I was hoping to do this- This- uh, this afternoon. But, uh... No! Let's just do- let's try to do this now while I have played the game for a while. I don't want to open next stream with this. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try to go live tomorrow. Hey look, there's the cork that you break at the top of the lighthouse that's still there for some reason. Like, that's like- it's probably the most egregious, uh, mistake that they made, probably. Jesus Christ! Give me a sec. Alright. Will you fuck off? Whoop and stew. And the problem with, the problem is, uh... Like, not only just hitting him from here... But then knowing what the escape plan is. I will not try this for an hour. It is, it is kind of funny, but it's, it's hard. It's not that hard. I'm gonna. F I'm <laughs> Maybe it's not that hard. I can't believe. Like, if I just do a spin jump off of that, it's free. Here we go again. 
It's just like such a sloppy thing was so close and yet whatever. I told them I didn't intend to get there until like six. Whether they, whether they, uh, heed my warning or not, that's up to them. I, I want to do this. I've never done this before. It's my birthday. I get to do whatever I want. You're being ridiculous. Shine Sprite. I would dinner skip if I, like, actually ate any real food today. Like I said, I was gonna, gonna burg it up, and then it ended up probably being bad. And Luke said that food doesn't go bad when it's in the freezer. See, it's not, it's not reaching him anymore. He's gonna give up. This is why I had problems with it before. I guess I could still spray him from back there. Like, that's not a big deal. Didn't sound like I hit him. How did I- how did I do this before? Hello? You son of a bitch. How did- how did I do it? How did I do it so easily? Like, I, I thought I could still see him, too. How did that one hit? What the fuck? <laughs> like, hello? This is why I've never done this. It's not the movement to the shrine that's the real problem here. So, like, should I be aiming near the end? What? Not even close. One more time. One more. One more attempt. I. Uh, oh Jesus Christ. Okay, I thought that I thought his health reset or something, but I guess not. There's something I don't know about Sunshine. How did how did it work? I don't know. The problem is, like, he goes back in, but like, if I can just find a consistent spot to spray from, I just spray and then go about my dumping and running and whatnot. But I kind of can't if the spray isn't consistent and then, oh, I, I guess I hit him. Oh, I guess he's dead. Whoa, look at Mario's reflection, that's weird. See if we can get something consistent from the first three. Where is the platform? It's like kind of like back there. Okay. So you kind of want the camera to be like there. I don't know. I'm gonna bother you from all the way over here.
Like... Oh my god, you gave- I feel like you gave up sooner than in phase two. Can I, like, see you at least? Can I at least have that luxury? It looked like he reset his animation to go back in. Yeah. And then I... I mmmed him. Obviously, if you practice this a lot, it's no big deal. What? Great. Oh my god. <laughs> what happened? Why didn't it work the third time? I hate you. Bill. There we go. <laughs> oh. Wait, I don't remember it soft locking the game. Is that new to 3D All Stars? I don't remember it soft locking the game. Hello? It just and then it respawn it respawns you at the start and then you just go back. I I don't know, dude. Whatever. That's because <laughs> like the other trick you can do with unlocking uh, gelato is if you start water sliding, then Mario will maintain his forward momentum during the cutscene, so you can have him slide right up to the entrance so that you just spam spray and it works. But whatever. Uh, I guess I'll call the stream there. Then next time we'll do like gelato, Noki, Serena stuff, you know. So hopefully that's tomorrow. Because uh, I have something early afternoon, but I can maybe do it sooner than that or maybe after that. I don't know what's preferable. Probably sooner. Assuming I can actually get sleep tonight, but it's not going to be Christmas tomorrow, so. Right, I have to. I have, I have something to do in the morning anyway, so I should just be ready for then. That's the plan. Come back for more nerd stuff. I'm kind of sad I can't couldn't do it in one stream, but hey, I think we did a lot here, and then not a lot, and then a lot again. It's nice. I love this. It's it's fun. I, <laughs> I I'm having a lot of fun. So, yep. Merry Christmas, everyone. Enjoy the remainder of it, and see you. There's Christmas Eve, there's Christmas, and then there's... Who knows, man? Not Christmas. Sad face. <laughs>